Welcome, uh, you lovely ladies and gentlemen, uh, to another uh, Path of Radiance uh, Iron Man uh, stream! Uh, my name is Mengs. How are you guys doing? Hello, everybody. Hello, Nepu. Hello, Armory. Hello, Nameless X. Hello, Medic. Hello, Late and Bald. That's me. I'm always late and bald. Every single time, I am late and bald. But, it's time to continue on this lovely little Iron Man quest. Last time we had some deaths, you know, a couple, couple deaths. You know, like, yes. not, not, oh, you know, well, you know, echo, echo. But it wasn't anything too bad, you know? Let's see, I just forgot to do something real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh... There we go. So yeah, hope you guys are doing all right. I'm doing fine. Just uh, doing some fi finishing touches. I have some uh, exciting news to tell you guys about tomorrow. Oh, I didn't say hi. Hi, Pyrus. Hello, Last Rebel. Hello, Dorup. Hello, Marinos. Hello, Noel. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Elspur. Hello, Sneaky Rifle. Hello, Potterino. Hello, Bone Chill. Hello, Eggshell. Hello, Your Waifu. Hello, Falso. Hello, Inkling. Uh, hello, Star War. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Bro -pup. Uh, Hello, The Lucky Loser. Hello, Flying Judgment. Uh, hello, Norian Guy. So, you'll hear more of it after the stream. There's going to be a stream. I, I'm actually going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, I am doing tomorrow, Saturday, starting at 6 o'clock. There will be a stream scheduled after this one. I'm going to be doing an Andron Saga draft race with PH, Norian Guy, and Dunlop. So, four-player Andron Saga draft race coming tomorrow. It's going to be an eight-hour-long stream where we draft characters. That basically means that we pick among all the playable characters. We we divide them in between us, and we see who uh, who can get the farthest in eight hours. I don't think it's possible to beat Andron Saga in eight hours. Maybe we don't. We're not going to play with animations. It's going to be a race. So, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe it is. I don't. But um. Uh, but we're gonna see who can comes comes the furthest. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. Maybe it's possible to beat Andron Saga in eight hours. I I don't know. Without animations, could could be doable if you play fast. I don't think so. So uh, I'll I'll show you guys exactly how it's gonna work. Actually, um, you don't draft main characters. Characters. Some characters are just free. So. I'll show you the the lineup. So uh, let's see. Did I did I remember to take a picture of this? So so basically, I'll I'll, I'll show you. So uh, some characters are free. You see, so some characters gets used by all players. But uh, there, there, will, there will be a drafting process, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys exactly what that means, in case some of you guys are a little bit curious. Um, sorry, it's, it's lagging a little bit. I'm not entirely sure why. There we go. So, um, there we go. Sorry, I'm bringing up the, I'm bringing up the draft, the draft image, so you guys can see. So this is how it's going to look like. <clears throat> so basically, uh, we've randomized the spawn points. Uh, Donlot got Donlot got the first position. <clears throat> and the, the units you see are free, like they can be freely used by everyone. They're like they don't have to be drafted. They're free picks basically. And then everyone else has to be drafted, and we we take turns drafting until ev until we've divided the remaining playable characters between all four players, and then we race each other, being only allowed to deploy those characters, basically. So um, whoever gets Helga wins. Helga's going to be an important draft pick. So is Theodore. Theodore's going to be immensely useful. Helga's going to be important. Darius is going to be important. There are a lot of really good picks here. Um, there are a lot of good picks. Caroline, I'd say, is actually a really viable pick. So, um... Uh, it's gonna- there's gonna be a lot of strategy in the drafting. You gotta be very smart and draft good characters. I don't think Grandal's on here. No, I think we took him away. Is he, is he on here? No? 
Helga should be free. Crixus, Crixus is free. If he spawns, you should be allowed to use him. If he spawn, if you get him, you should use him. That, that that's that's fair, I think. Like imagine imagine not drafting Crixus and then you get him. Like that's kind of that's kind of dumb. So uh, I never seen a draft. Uh, just tune in tomorrow. You'll see. Like we'll start with the drafting phase where all four players will take turns drafting units, and then we're gonna be racing each other. So there's gonna be one. There's gonna be four screen, uh, four games on screen, and it's gonna be a race to see who can get the farthest in eight hours. It's it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys will tune in. Um, it's gonna be great fun. You'll do it in snake order. Yeah, player one, player two, player three, player four, player four, player three, player two, player one. So it goes like this. That's how you do it. That way, the first player gets to, gets the first draft, but the others get to draft two times before player one gets to draft again. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah, accepting the deal is definitely the way to go. Now that I think about it. Yeah, everyone's... Oh my goodness, we... Oh, that's a good point. Should we allow Jaka to accept the deal? I feel like we shouldn't. It, it's more fun if we don't. It, it's it's more fun if we don't. Be otherwise, it just turns into a Jaka solo. Yeah, we should totally ban... We should ban the Asmodeus deal, for sure. Um, we're gonna be playing on normal mode. It's gonna be a race, so we're playing fast. So it's not It's not gonna be harder, Lunatic. That would be insane. That would be insane. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be for tomorrow. Now, let's play some Path of Radiance. So we're in Chapter 14. We're about to enter the Serenus Forest Arc. We got two chapters in front of us first. Uh, we've lost Void, Ileana, Rolf, Kieran, Astrid, and Mists. And uh, I don't think we have any supports. I'm not gonna do Titania Ike. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do Ike Oscar A because I'd like to do Oscar Tanith A, and Ike Soren A is more important, I think, for a late game. So, um, what I miss about an Andaran Saga Draft Rage? It's gonna happen tomorrow. There will be a stream scheduled after this one. Uh, we do actually have an Occult Scroll. I don't know if I want to give Soul to Titania, though. I might. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. But, um, there is one thing I do want to do. I want to make sure I have enough, uh, hand axes. Like, I always... I always run low on hand axes for some reason. Um, I guess we should do a Forge. Let, let's go through our units. Oh, wait! Oh, now I remember! It's bonus experience time! Yes, it's finally time to use some of our bonus experience. I got the knight's crests. I got the knight ward set up on Braum and everything. So uh, now I'm not shaking by rhythm. So uh, I say for to make it a little bit more fun, let's bring up the growth rates of the character we're giving bonus experience to. So here are Braum's growth rates, and uh, he's gonna have plus thirty from the knight ward. Uh, so that's gonna be what seventy-five? No wait, five fifty. 75%? No, wait. It's not plus 50, my goodness. Um, he's gonna have a... 55% growth rate in speed, so... Little over half chance to level speed, which he definitely needs. Speed is nice on Armor Knights. So, um... Let me see, let me close that. Let me close that. Sorry, I forgot to close some programs before I started. There we go. Michael Robinson donated 199 True Super Chat. Can't wait for you to use Makalov. Sorry, I was offered money to kill him, so. Uh, Alan Mayo donated 10 bucks. Just got queued into your videos. Oh, that was the old stream, sorry. Uh, I, I unloaded the special textures, guys, because uh, I thought I suspected that they may play a part in crashing the game. I'm just gonna try playing without them for a little bit just to see. Uh, Mangs, did you see the video of the guy claiming to beat Maniac Mode? I think he's uploading vlogs now. I mean, I did, and, uh, like, I I will say, um... I'm not accusing him of not being trustworthy, but a video of you beating Maniac Mode can be very easily manipulated by loading save states. Um, I, I'm not saying that he probably did it, like... I have no reason to suspect he doesn't, but I will say, if you really want to prove it, you kind of have to livestream the whole thing. That's the only way you really can't fake it. You, you get what I mean? You get what I mean? 
Like, sure, someone can upload a video with footage saying I beat Maniac Mode, they can show themselves killing Ashnar. How do I know they didn't use save states when characters died? Like, they, there's no way of knowing. So, I wouldn't accept that as proof, but, you know, I'm also not gonna be bitter about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on Copium right now. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's, uh, let's give Brom some levels, shall we? Let's go. Oh, Strength, Magic, Speed, Defense. That's a great level. Let's give him another one. I say give... Let's get him to level 15. Okay, alright. No speed, that's fine. Let's give him another level. Come on, Brom. Yes, Strength and Speed, let's go. Should we give him another one? Let's give him another one. Let's go. Oh, okay, not defense, but he's gotten a lot of strength and speed, which I do like. Um, I think I will swap the Knight's Crest over to Gatry, though, because he has seven speed. Uh, what I might do is I might give Jill a level. Does she have the... She has the Vibrant Band equipped, which is fine. So let's give just Jill one level. Cut. Really? Really, Jill? You gonna do this to me, Jill? But yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap Brom and Gatry's Night Ward and Sword Man because uh, it's skill and speed, it's skill and luck, which is actually kind of important for Brom. And I feel like Gatry definitely needs the extra speed right now. Uh, I'm also considering forging a. Maybe I should forge a Steel Lance for Gatry. Steel Lances are kind of expensive to forge, though. So I think I'll just. I'll go for another... Wait, what? What am I doing? Oh, I'm just buying Steel Lances. What the hell? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's forge... I don't know if we can afford to forge Maximum. No. Well, do we have anything to sell? Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a Seraph Robe. We have a bunch of stat boosters lying around. Uh, Mas well, Mist is dead, so we don't really need this anymore. So that's fine. Uh, don't need these one-use vulneraries. That's fine. Oh, we got four. We got three arm scrolls. My goodness. Do we really need all of them? Do we really need all of them? I feel like we don't. Give everything to Brom? Uh, that's not a good idea. Uh, but we can do a forge. Uh, we can definitely do a forge. I feel like... Does Brom have a forge? He has the parry GF. Let's forge one for... Jill has I missed. I say we forge a Steel Lance for Gatry. He has the strength to wield them, so I feel like that's fine. Give it a little bit of extra accuracy. All right, it's time to forge name, ladies and gentlemen. The very risky game where I risk showing very offensive things on stream. Uh, please be nice. Let's see, uh... Alright, let's do this. This is a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright. Five. Four, three, two, one, and... Wait, why, is, why isn't it stopping? There we go. <laughs> Booba! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Booba. <laughs> Booba. It, it suits Gantry, honestly. It suits him just fine. Alright, we have a forge for Gantry. That's fine. Um, oh, why did I sell those vulneraries? I might need them. I only have, like, two healers in my army. I, I hope that's I hope that's enough. Uh, Soren has his heal. That's good. How's Oscar doing on the forges? He should also be fine, I think. Let's put an Iron Lance on him just for just to be safe. Uh, we have the Slim Lance, the Javelin. Probably want to get an Iron Lance to Brom as well, I think. 
Uh, let me show you my units real quick. Just, uh, I like doing that at the start of every stream. Uh, my Ike is capped, he's pretty good. Uh, training up Search, didn't give him that many kills last stream, but I'm working on it. Uh, Oscar is really strong so far, so he's gonna be a, I think I'm just gonna put Soul on him the moment he promotes. Uh, Braum got some good level ups, like 15 strength, 13 skill. He's very speed blessed, actually, which is nice. I think this is this is shaping up to be a pretty solid Braum. I like this. Uh, Titania is good. She's always good, though. Uh, Soren is an absolute monster, though he is mostly going to be running around healing. Uh, Volk is average, I think. I don't think he's neither good nor bad. Uh, Riss is kind of my main healer, so I kind of have to use him. Uh, I'm gonna try and train up Jill without killing her this stream. Not using Lath, not Oh, I'm using Gantry, and he's actually pretty solid. He's got 22 defense, so that's actually really good. I need to keep the Night Ward on him a little bit to, to ensure he gets some speed level ups. So, uh, yeah. I say we get going, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Soren, Soren is our healer. He is actually our main healer. All right, it's time for... Oh! What, wait, what? What did I do? Oh, did I load a save state by accident? Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh my good... Wait, I didn't save? I am so sorry. Well, okay. I'm sorry, I accident... Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Braum will get the same level ups, I think. It's okay, he'll get the same level ups. I'll make sure he has exactly the same level ups. I think those are the same level ups. I think those are the same level ups, right? I think those are the same level ups, yeah? Yeah, those are the exact same level ups he got last time, so... We're doing things exactly the same. I just accidentally loaded a save state. Oh my god, I got a better level up on gel. Oops! 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 Okay, guess there's nothing we can do! Guess there's nothing we can do. Guess there's nothing we can do, guys. We're stuck with it now. I'm so sorry. It's not taint. It's not taint. It was a legit mistake. It was a legit mistake. Don't tell Don Lot. Alright, uh, let me still forge the Gatry Landstone. Oh, I gotta sell stuff. God, I'm so sorry about this, guys. I really am. Terribly sorry. I should never have done it. Let's see. Hey, Jill got a point of strength. It's not the end of the world, right? <laughs> Ter terrible, terrible. But I'll do exactly the same thing I did. We'll name it Booba. We'll give it 80 hitch. Here we go. And then we gotta make sure Braum has an Iron Lance. Not that Iron Lance, though. This Iron Lance, and then Oscar has the other one. And I think that's all I did, right? You gotta smash an egg on your head to compensate. You know what? I did that once, Donla. You know the problem with that is? The problem is it really starts to smell after a while. Terribly. So it's not a good idea. Uh, Alright, I... So since I'm killing Makalov anyway, I guess I'll bring Soth. So I get some extra... Because thieves still get good vision in Fog of War, right? Should I get him a dagger? Should I get Soth a dagger? He should get a he should get a knife. Yeah, I was I was offered money to kill Soth, so I'm gonna do that. I you know he could get some maybe he could steal something. I don't know. I don't know guys. We'll see.
Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, this time around I saved. I saved, guys. Um. Who pays you to kill Soth? Uh, Noel, I think? Like, Noel, are you here? Like, is, does the offer still stand? <sighs> this is the massacre. And yes. Okay, alright. I'll kill Makalov then. I don't like using Makalov anyway. Alright, we'll send Gatry this way. Brom this way. Uh, I guess we could just have Soth visit this village on the first turn. We'll spread our thieves out a little bit. Sometimes there might be some bone riders for them to steal. You never know. Remember to move out at a leisurely pace. Well, we gotta move somewhat fast though because uh, we we gotta move somewhat fast though because we want to go get the village. So, but you are right that we can't rush too much. I I do agree with this. Like, we have to be a little bit cautious. I think I'm going to send Oscar, probably. Together with Ike over here, and then I'll send Titania as well, and then the rest of the units over here. I think that's probably a good way to do it. The boss is not stationary, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, I forgot to open my damage values. Let me quickly get that. Kill Makalo with Marsha? Well, I don't have Marsha deployed, so because I'm going to kill him, so... Wow. Guess I'll use my forge. Seahark, really? Really, Seahark? You get hit immediately? Thought you were supposed to be... I thought you were supposed to be tanky. Tanked if not using gel. H how does that make any sense at all? I don't get it. Wow, look at Rom, though. Not bad. Takes five damage from this guy. Good tank. Brom and Search will eventually get an, uh, an Earth support, or they'll get a uh, they'll get a Water Earth, which actually doesn't sound so bad. And we can get a little kill for Volk, which is always nice. Oh, what? No! No! Hi there, waifu. Sp do thieves actually have more st vision? In I think they do, right? Ah, uh, uh, that's so annoying. Oh my god. Oh, I got trapped. Maybe I should should have been more careful. I'll just use a javelin, I'll be fine. Oh, it's because I loaded a save, ah. That's why. Wait, you know what? I know there are mages on this map, so I'll ward up Gatri and I'll send him on the front lines like this. And then we can do a little hit and run attacks with Jill. Really Jill, you don't, you don't kill here? That's better. Gotta feed our uh, girl Jill some kills here. And I like what I like about Jill on this map is that she can very easily like dart out of range. You gotta be careful though on this map because uh, there are like bandits coming in behind you and stuff. So you gotta be you gotta you gotta keep a wa watchful eye for them. Hi Makalov, how are you doing? Why you see Gatri like that? I see Gatri because it's a French name. Ha 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 ha. Why should I not say Gatri like these? Huh? Is it not a French name? Ha ha ha. Let's see if we can uh, get the kill with Oscar here. We could not get the kill with Oscar here. Uh, let's see. One, two... Okay, we gotta be careful with Soth. We gotta be careful with Soth here so he doesn't come into range. I think we'll let Seahark deal with these bandits right here. I think if we use the... Yeah, he can actually one round these guys. Look at that. That's nice. That's a nice source of experience for him. He can stay here and just deal with all these uh, all these bandits. Uh, I wish I kept... Wait, I didn't bring any torches? God damn it. 
That is actually kind of annoying. I thought I did. But I guess I didn't. You know what? I kind of want to ward up Jill. Yeah, I kind of want to ward up Jill. So I'm going to move her, like, right here. Wait, where can... Okay. Yeah, I'm going to move Jill right here, and then I'll ward her up so that she doesn't take so much damage from the uh, mage. I know there are mages on this map, so just got to be a little bit careful about that. Uh, this map is kind of used... Yeah, this map is definitely, like, a good place to train most of your units. All right, we got the armor chads coming in here. The armor chads coming in here. We got to work on Soren's staff rank. That's very important. Always heal when we can. Sorry, what was the way? What happened? Ah, nothing of interest. I tainted a little bit on, on accident. That's pretty much about it. Uh, Gatri and uh, Brom are just going to murder this entire column of people together. Look at this. But Gatri takes one damage. <laughs> wow, you get doubled by Gatri with seven speed. How slow are you? How slow are you? Ooh, let's go, Oscar. Oh yeah, the Lagoos in the next chapter are amazing for for uh, for experience too. I, I agree. Well, is is that the next chapter? I guess yeah. We have the Desert chapter first. Hit point strength. Oh, let's go see Hark. Not bad. Nightmaster Dornet 322. Did you know that Soren and Riss, except for Riss, getting way more luck? Did you know that Soren and Riss, except for Riss, getting way more luck and Death, basically have the same growth rates? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, here's the thing though. A lot of characters in Path of Radiance have very similar growth rates. I would say that Path of Radiance probably has some of the, like, very boring growth rates. Everyone just has, like, 40s to 50s in, in most areas, which is not that great, honestly. Um... I like this track. It's great. First run, Alinsha died in Clash. Second run, you brought Alinsha, which you shouldn't have. And this run, you choose to proc either fourth time the charm. I'll do it. I'll be fine. All right, we'll send Soth over here. Scout out. Oh, hi there. Oh, there he is. No, wait. I thought that was Makalo. It wasn't. Hmm. What if we bring in Ike first? He can just chip a little bit with an iron sword. I know he's capped, but he can still chip and give the kill to Oscar. Honestly, I think I prefer Oscar taking the front line here instead of Titania. It's just... I think he deserves the experience more. So I'll just put him here. I don't remember if there are... Let's see. One, two, three. I don't remember if there's ranged enemies here. I think there are. I know, like, there's some... Oh, there's some bandits that we gotta deal with for sure. We can send... I like the fact that Volk has shade. It means that it's often very safe to do this with him. It's a great, it's a great skill, honestly. I like it. Uh, and we can use, uh, let's see. Brom can go and murder this. Oh, man, look at Brom's damage out. It's actually pretty good. Man, so why didn't you deploy Randall? Because he's fake. Read my mind. I was trying out how to complain about the music without sounding like a baby. You always sound like a baby. That's the thing. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a pole axe. That's cute. What? Come on. I think you missed some donuts. Nightmaster donated 322. Oh, I was I read that one already. Uh don't lot donated two bucks for super shot. I'm offering two bucks for two left levels. Left levels at this point? Why? Why? Why would you do this? Okay. But two bucks, but don't lot, that's nothing. What the hell? Wait, I got speed and rest on Gatry. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. My goodness, that's 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 good. So on this map, you kind of want to just hang out here for a little bit because the boss will send Lagoose at you at some point and you really don't want to be around when that happens. Are there more bandits here? I, I think so, right? I think there are more bandits, but I, I can't remember right now. Uh, they'll come towards me, I guess, anyway, so it's fine. Uh oh! Okay, wow. Effective. Double effective damage, ladies and gentlemen! 
Okay, yeah, there are ranged enemies here, so that's a good thing I put a javelin on Oscar. The Last Rebel donated five bucks for Super Chat. Read your channel resubs, Egg. Uh, how did I do that again? Let's see, how do I do that again? Uh... Oh, wait, I think I know how to do that. Yeah, here we go. The Last Rebel. Uh, member for 34 months. 34 more months of egg. Wow, you've been around forever. Narrow Spark, member for 15 months. They are indeed the same. Taint, taint, taint. Uh. Potterino is a member for 12 months. Read them, egg. Read them one year, baby. Oh, you got a diamond egg. That's cool. Olympic Spartan is a member for 21 months. Ding dong. Michael Robinson, donor to 199. I can't wait for you to use Michael. <laughs> You're gonna be so disappointed. You're gonna be so disappointed. You're gonna be so disappointed. All right, so I think we'll probably just do this. I think, um, uh, should we, did I word up so if I don't remember if I did? Probably not, a, probably not important. I do wanna save the word stuff just a little bit, so I think it's fine to do this. Anyway, we gotta try and, if, if at all possible, ooh, I'm, ah, Lagoose effective weapons are so trash. Okay, there's the, uh, we gotta move in. Maybe we'll even use the Regal Sword to try and kill, kill this guy. I don't remember if these guys attack you or not. I think that's Makalo, right? I'm pretty sure that's Makalo. I don't remember if these bandits attack you or not. I, I think they might, or they go straight for the villages. I'm not sure. Really, Oscar? Really, Oscar? Why would you do this, Oscar? Oh, yeah. So, here's Makalov. Um, Makalov is, like, a really weird unit because... Like, he, he is, like, very unremarkable if you look at him. He's a sword knight, which is, like, the worst kind of knight. And um, his bases are very mediocre. His growth rates are kind of mediocre. He has a very mediocre personal skill in Tempests. Like, I don't know why they just didn't give him Gamble. Like, it's a much better, much better thing for him. Um, so, like, he's just very unremarkable, but his class is still good. And he still went, like, Paladins are still one of the best classes in the game. So, he is an unremarkable guy with a remarkable class, which turns him into kind of a sort of okay-ish decent unit. And I probably would have used him were it not for the fact that someone offered me money to kill him. So, um, you know, rip Bozo. You probably would have died anyway. So, but I always try to use Makalo and I fail. So this time around, I'm probably not even going to bother with it. I feel like it's probably easier this way, you know. Why do I come to the arena? Honestly, I love the way the combatants move. It's like an erotic dance. Sweat. Oh, are you trying to make me play Oblivion again, sweetie? Is that, is that what you're doing here? I think that's what she's doing. This map is actually, like, remarkably easy. I always get caught off guard by just, like, how easy this map is. I say that, I know, and then suddenly, you know, things go to hell, but... I think I've ward... Oh, I didn't ward a Brom. Ooh, that's actually really bad. Okay, I'll just put Leth here instead, so she'll take the... Uh, or maybe I'll just put... Um, hmm. I gotta be careful with Jill. I'll just put... Put Mordecai here. Where are all the enemies, though? I seem to recall there being a lot of them here. I know there's, like, some bandits showing up at some point. I definitely haven't killed them all yet. I know they show up, so... You're almost in his range. Yeah, that's what I figured. Pretty sure there are... Oh, okay, no, they can't go through here. Okay, can thieves see further in fog, or am I misremembering this? Okay, also... Mordecai kind of getting his ass kicked here. Oh, he transformed. That's nice. They can, okay. Hi, Makalo. How are you doing? 
I think I may just have lost. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't remember what's in that village. I don't think it's like anything particularly amazing. I don't remember what's in that, but let's try and get it with Titania this time around. Uh, maybe I can, can I kill him with Soph? No. Um, I need to I need to see. So I need to see what's ahead here. Okay, good. I'll just. Uh, I hope I won't get trapped. Okay, good. I didn't get trapped. I lost that on Vantage. Oh, that's kind of a big deal, isn't it? That is kind of a big deal, isn't it? Actually, is it really? I don't think so. Anyway, looks like I killed Makalov, Rip Boso. Rest in pepperoni, Makalov. It was nice knowing you. Killed for one XP. <laughs> Oh, I got a hundred dollars! <laughs> oh, you must really hate Makalo, huh? Oh shit, Zolt is gonna get absolutely crapped on, isn't he? Yeah, I think I think Zolt is dead, guy. <laughs> I think. Oh no, he has spirit dust on him! Shit! Ah, uh, will he die to a single attack? No. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. Why does he have spirit dust? You're too young to be doing cocaine, my friend. What the hell? I got the spoil for. <laughs> I always forget next unit. There we go. Uh, all right. Well, Mordecai, definitely head back. Let let the armor knights deal with this one. There we go. There's a wall of steel blocking this bridge right here, and you are not getting through. I'll bring uh, Volk back here. So we I seem to recall there being bandits coming from the right. I don't know if I remember that, misremember that, but I I think that's the case. This man is throwing for download. Yeah, let's go with that. I am just throwing for content. That's that's how it works. I can't outbid Rip Makalov, yeah. I guess yeah, I, I should definitely take some pot shots with Jill here, but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter if she takes damage now that I think about it. I'll just use her lance. There we go. Oblivion stream if you lose so. <laughs> but yeah, they're not getting past here. Let's just put it that way. I know there's mages moving up ahead. And I did ward up Gatry though, so I think I'm good. Come on, double. Do Morrowind? I, if I had to choose between Morrowind or Oblivion, I'd, I'd definitely play... Uh, I definitely play um, Oblivion. I haven't. I didn't play Morrowind that much as a kid. I, I played Oblivion, but not Morrowind. I played Morrowind just a tiny bit, like ti like just a little bit, but I don't remember much from it. I was very young. Did an Iron Man run of 59 lost due to Alinsha getting killed? Yep, yep. Story of my life right there. Oof. Hey, Soth getting experience. Is this this is how we level Soth, guys? Hmm. He does one. <laughs> okay, okay. What if we what if we leveled Soth here though? Like I'm just saying, like in theory, we could give both Soth and Riss a lot of experience if we Okay, so in this bush If we just like um if we put Titania right here. Oh, he can just walk around, Connie. Okay, what if we put Titania right here? And then we do, we put wrist here. And we, we just... And then we, we level, we'll, we'll give Soth some levels. Cause then maybe he can steal stuff in the desert chapter. I don't, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a possibility, right? Where are the bandits? I know they're around here somewhere. Am I misremembering this? Am I really misremembering this? I seem to recall there being bandits here. Oh, I got defense on risk. I'm not paying attention to my own level ups here. 
right, there we go. Yeah, they really named him Rez. They were way, like, Path of Radiance was way ahead of their time. Naming the priest literal Riz. It's like, it's really funny when you think about it. But yeah, this chapter is great for like training staff, Ryan, because there's a lot of like poison axes around here and stuff, which is nice. I don't think the knights can take a killer axe crit. Ah, uh, maybe not. Does the boss move though? I don't remember. I think you need to go within his range. Brom might not take a killer axe crit. I think a Gatry will though. Uh, how much experience is he? He gets 10 experience per hit. So there is a level to be gained for Soth here. There is a level to be gained for Soth here, if we want him to. Should we should we give him a level? Just to see? He gets 10 experience per hit. It's staff experience for Riss. Let's try let's try and give him a single level. Let's just see what he gets, because he has the best growth rates in the game. So like a single level is actually pretty good for him. This is miserable. <laughs> okay, PH doesn't like it. That's that's reason enough to do it. Let, I just I just I've never given Soth a level before. I want to see what he gets. Really, Soren? Hit points and rest. Hit points and rest. I go out of my way to train you, and this is how you how you reward me. It's just you never meet an enemy that Soth can actually damage. Oh, hi. Here, here we go. Ooh. Will Brom get doubled by Tigers? I don't think so. They're pretty slow. Gatry might, though. I'd, I'd much rather watch, watch grass grow and paint dry. Well, you come to the right stream. We're doing a Bob Ross Soth level special. Honestly, this is just as good for, for Riz as it is for Soth, because... Like, I don't have any other healers at this point, so it's actually not a terrible idea. It's actually not a terrible idea to do this. Yeah, so in case you guys don't know, I can actually I can actually bring up like, there's some people asking about Soth in chat. I can I can show you guys, um, in case you haven't been around, what this unit is, so. So Soth is a very weird unit because he is a growth unit, but he doesn't promote. Um This is because I don't I, I don't really know why he, I think it's just an oversight, honestly. Uh, but he doesn't promote. There's no promotion for him. He just stays a thief at level 20. He has some of the best growth rates in the game because he has Blossom, a skill that increases his growth rates but reduces his experience gains. So, as you can see, like he, he has like some of the craziest growth rates in the game, but they don't really do much for him because he's kind of similar to Chant from FE6. Like, he gets only gets 20 levels to grow, and it's kind of weird. But, you know. But one thing is for sure... You are not holding on to that cocaine, boy. Uh, this is also a great training arc for Jill, I think. A great Jill training arc. There's lots of good experience for her to get here. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Jill is our girl. Jill is... Our yeah, he's terrible in this game. Like, Soth is a joke, but... I've never given him a level before, and I kind of want to see what it looks like. That's all. And besides, I mean, we're just kind of waiting for all the reinforcements to... Like, there's no rush in this chapter. Like, there's some reinforcements that pops and charges you, and I, I'd rather not pull the boss before I deal with them, because the boss is actually very scary. And, you know, like, it's a little bit of experience. Why not? You know, risk levels up as well. Let's use up his heal stay. Might as well. What are Soth's growths? I literally just showed them, sweetie. Here they are. Oh, you're wondering why they're like that? Uh, that's because of his skill. It, it's really weird. It, it, what 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 Blossom does is that it. So these aren't actu actually Soth's growth rates. These are statistical growth, uh, st statistical growth rates. Basically, what Blossom does is that it allows you to roll twice for each growth. So if Soth has a 50% HP growth, for example. Instead of rolling once, he rolls twice to see if he gets HP. So you could kind of say his growth rates have are fifty percent higher in a way, and it comes out like this is how they actually are if you if you math it out. Bold of you to assume a woman can read. That's true. I do forget you're kind of retarded, sweetie. All right, let's um. Well, hey man, as long as she can cook, right? There we go. 
<laughs> Divorcing <Kobe. laughs> I don't got a trad wife, I got a tard wife. Alright, are, are we good now? Like no more reinforcements? I think I think we're I think we're good. <laughs> Fire emblem divorce, let's go. Alright, okay, so let's go. Let's go, Sylph. I actually prefer it when he gets hit. Okay. Two more two more rounds of combat. Now we're using the man staff. Manx, do you feel you will lose? Well, Donald streams like more often than me, so he'll probably like if unless he gets a game over, he'll probably beat me. But he could get a game over if he doesn't play right. We'll see. There we go. Oh, he doesn't have a band. I should have given him a band. I mean, I mean, eh? I mean, it's not terrible though. Yeah, now he does two damage. Ooh, let's give him another. <laughs> let's, give, let's give him another. Let's, let's kill this guy with him. <laughs> let's give him another level. <laughs> he doubled his damage output. He gained one level, guys, and he doubled his entire damage output. Isn't that pretty impressive? I think that's pretty impressive. Let's give him a Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? What are you doing? Wait, whoa, 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 Huh? Oh, he got too scared of Soth, guys. He got too scared of Soth! Soth got too strong! Wow! Yeah. So <laughs> he, got, he got too scared of self. That's funny. Hit points, magic, skill, speed. Okay. That's actually really funny. Right. So I guess we could slowly move up our ports now. Um, I wish I, I wish I had a torch. That'd be nice. All right, let's uh, let's move forward a little bit, shall we? Let's see, let's uh, let's pull some of the lagoons. I think this is roughly around when the boss decides to charge. I, I don't think the boss charges at you, but he he, he certainly unleashes some tight. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there here they come. Uh, no crit from the tigers. That's good to. S oh, but but Brom on the other hand, he's got some crits to dish out. Uh, yeah, I put. I put Miracle on Titania just because, you know, like, it's never saved me before, but it would be funny if it did it. This explains why his biorhythm went up, up. Yes. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen. Makalov's biorhythm. It's sword. Alright. Um, I don't... Maybe it's smarter... It could be smarter, maybe, to let, um... It could be smarter to let Titania take the fronts. I don't know if it's smarter to have Gat... Like, Gat... I think Gatry actually takes a crit, but I'm not sure about Braum. Do you, have, do you have something extra to say on Biorhythm? I made an entire video about it to make you guys shut up about it. Just go watch my Biorhythm video. I made a whole video about Biorhythm just for you guys. Because you wouldn't shut up about it! Max, Biorhythm, Max. Max, Biorhythm, I'm funny. Biorhythm, Max, Biorhythm. There we go. So, I think we'll put Titania here. Let's give her a hand axe, probably. Ugh, I don't... I'm a little scared, but what's kind of important is that we put, uh, so Brom can go back, uh, I'll send Riss over here, and then I'll ward up Gatry, because I know there's mages here. But as long as I ward him up, I think he should be fine. I know the boss will attack at some point. Toxic biorhythm, that's what I have. I My biorhythm is always toxic, that's my secret. Alright, how are we doing on Soren Staff Rank? He's a D now, so you can use men. So that's good. Alright, bring it on, boss. I'm not scared of you. I am very scared of the boss, actually. I'm very scared. Oh, come on. Don't steal the experience, Titania. Oh, there he is. 
There he is. Ooh, he's got a 30% chance to crit. Does he double? I think he doubles. Oh, this is this is terrifying. Oh boy. Oh boy, don't kill my Gatry, please. Don't kill my Gatry. I hate Oh god. Oh, uh, oh, okay. All right. I think he doubles. I th this could be a crit. Okay. Okay, he definitely doubles. Woo! Woo! That was scary. Yeah, I'll just I'll just throw some axes at him. Oh, no! What the... Titania? I was gonna... I was gonna give that over to... Wait, did I miss out on a bunch of Lagoos? I don't know. Did I? I think I missed out on a bunch of Lagoos. Oh, well. That's fine. Well, that was uh, easy, I guess. This this chapter is always very easy. Like this entire arc is actually very easy. Sorry, it must be awful hearing the sped up music together with <laughs> together with the with all the rest. Hey Rayson, I, I love how the damage displays shows during the cinematics. That must be a kind of a weird thing. I was getting ready for to show this one because it's uh, I think it's desert chapter time at this point. It's kind of funny how how the how the stats keep displaying during. Uh... Wow, four bonus experience. Let's go. Where was the four bonus experience from? Mario from Mario Kart 64 and 64 donated five bucks to Super Chat. Would you ever consider doing an Iron Man run on, on one of the FE games with other games' units? FE6 with FE7's units, for example. Yeah, I've actually, uh, I, I've actually, I love how it doesn't say we killed Makalo, that's funny. We suffered no casualties, no one cares about Makalo. Uh, I actually would, I think that would be kind of funny, actually, to do FE7 or FE6 with FE7 units, or FE7 with FE6 units. I think that would actually be kind of funny, because the FE6 casts are actually way worse than the FE7 casts, so... Um, you didn't get any battle experience this chapter. I didn't get any bonus experience. I got battle. TX donated two bucks for Super Chat. Divorce Pog. <laughs> Noel donated a hundred bucks for Super Chat. I'm a person of my word. Thank you for reading Talia's of the Menace. That is Makalov. He belongs in the dirt. So, let me let me ask you, Noel. Is the reason like let me guess the reason why you why you hate Makalov is because Astrid's your wife, right? This is the reason why people hate Makalov. It's actually kind of funny how many people hate him. Uh, because, and I think normally he wouldn't get so much hate. But it's the fact that Astrid seemingly is like falls in love with him in Radiant Dawn, which makes everyone so pissed off because they're like, oh my god, what does she see in him? Astrid is obviously a, a girl who tries to fix people, so it makes perfect sense for her to get together with Makalo. The only problem is, Astrid couldn't fix herself, so it was kind of a lost cause. Hey, Sigrun. I just straight up hated him in this game. Oh, okay. Uh, no B support with Soren. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, what are you doing? Hi, Braum. Just fixing my shoulder guard. See, it's starting to rip here. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't want to go into battle like that. This one time, I had a... Hey, how do you know my name? Just, just you wait, Seahark. His daughter is gonna propose to you in Radiant Dawn. Mm, I'm just good at remembering names and faces. Natural talent, I suppose. Sorry if I got a little fresh with you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Seahark. How do you do, Brom? Howdy. Nice to meet you. 
Fixing a shoulder guard is tough work. What do you do when you're not at war? You work in leather? Nope, just a swordsman. Oh, I didn't know swordsman could fix something like this. That's quite a skill. I taught myself. Mercenaries make good money, you know. Can't afford to visit a tradesman. Or, they don't make... They don't make good money, I guess. And done. Alright, that should hold. Wow, is that is that something? I have to teach my youngest son how to do that. How many children do you have, Rob? I got five sons and three daughters. Five sons and three daughters. This man. This man. He's got strong seed. He's got, he's got strong sperm. He's got strong farmer Greek sperm. That's like nine children. Wait. That's like, that's like eight children. That's eight. <laughs> that's eight children. That's eight. <laughs> I figured you would have lots of children. How do you figure that? Just look at you, Rom. You're a big man with a big heart. The perfect daddy. You think so? Oh, stop. You're embarrassing me. They called Brom the perfect daddy. Ooh, should we do B support? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, Titania. Oh, Jill and Leth. Nah. I mean, I guess there's kind of no point in not doing this. I mean, like, why not, right? I mean, she's. I'm gonna A support her with Har, and Mist is dead, so there's no reason to not go Mist, Leth, B, A, C, or B, right? Like, I don't lose anything out on it. So why not? Leth Ike. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But I might as well do this one. Like, there's no point in not doing it, right? Oh, who should I give my four bonus experience to? I don't know, guys. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> it's a sign. Oh, wait, what? Uh oh. I thought. Okay, he needs one more. Is there anyone else who can actually level up with this? Nah. There we go. Do it one at a time. Oh... <laughs> uh, Holding on to the stat boosters for now because I really don't need them. But there is one thing I really ought to do, and that is to I gotta get some new staves. I think we do. We might give out the seraph robe though. Okay, it could save someone. I don't really know who should get it though. Uh, selling the red gem. That's easy. Oscar needs a new Iron Lance. Uh, eh, he's fine with what he's got. We could forge another weapon, maybe. I don't know what we'd forge, though. You can't forge daggers, sadly. It's oh, can you? Pretty sure you cannot forge daggers, right? Yeah, no, you cannot. Uh, is there anyone who lacks a forge at this point? I don't think so. Like, Oscar could maybe get one, but he doesn't... Does he need one? I don't think so. I think maybe we'll... Sh I think it's... It might be time to start forging, um... It might be time to start forging javelins for Clash, honestly. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. We don't need that much hit, but 11 might is pretty nice. Um... One thing we could also do is we could forge a fire tome for uh, for for Tordred. I almost called him uh, Torfin. I'm Torfin. What the fuck? Tor Tordred? Tordred? Tord? No, not Tordred. Tor Torfin? Tor Tormund? Tor Torgar? Tormod? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> but yeah, it might be it might be time to. Um, I'm wondering if I should bother doing hit on them. It's very expensive, but. Javelins do have pretty shit. I think I'll do 11 might 70 hit javelins, probably. Alright, guys. Alright. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and stop. Help? <laughs> okay. All right. Bit, bit weird, but uh, we'll do it, I guess. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Help. It's an apt name. There we 
we go. We'll put that in the convoy for later use. Uh, we need to get some men staves for Soren. In fact, I don't really see the point in using heal staves on him anymore. Like, because men gives more experience. So you might as well just go full on men, right? I'll leave a heal staff on wrist just in case, but I think it's better to just use mend at this point. Buy vulneraries? I don't really need vulneraries, though. But hey, I got a level on self. Look at that. Level 2 self. You, I will actually deploy him in this chapter. Mend is also way more expensive. Yeah, I guess. But it's also a lot more experience. and I feel like experience is worth more than money at this point during the game. You kind of just want to get everyone up. I'm actually gonna give her... Ooh, let's go. I will actually say, though, if someone should have a vulnerary on them, it's definitely Jill, because she's just gonna be flying away from the rest of the, of the team. Um, so anyone who's gonna, like, w move far away from the rest. Soren and Riss will cap out regardless. Eh, you might be right, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, you're probably right. But it's nice to get them there early, I guess. I guess maybe not. Yeah, you're right. Soren's gonna cap out 100%. It's probably so is Riss, honestly. Seraph robe Sneedhark? Really? Seahark? You wanna give a Seraph robe to Seahark? Now that I think about it, it might actually save his life. You know what? I don't mind that. I actually think that works. Yeah, 27 HP is a little low. It might actually save him a little bit against the Lagoose, which could work. Um, we, we, I think we're gonna sit on the other stat boosters, though. We have Spirit Dust, Secret Book, Sneedwing, Draco Shield. I don't think any of our units need these at the moment. Like, I might be tempted to put a Speedwing on Jill to help her double, but I don't think she needs it. Spirit Dusts, uh, probably gonna go to Torgod, honestly. <laughs> Energy drop to Soren. Yeah, sure. Uh, how much? Uh, he's got four strength now, which is pretty good. He can almost use Alfire without getting slowed down, which I like to see. Secret book on Gatry. Uh, how's his skill? Twelve skill. Yeah, that's not great, is it? That isn't. Yeah, that's pretty shit, isn't it? But Rom's got 13, so. Hmm. I dropped all my bonus experience on Tormod because Soren had died. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna train Tormod because uh, I didn't. I, I want more sages with staves. They're amazing, and Tormod is a sage that has two extra moves. So, I will actually attempt to train Tormod. And we'll see if I can pull it off or not. We'll see. I'm gonna try. We'll see. We'll see if I can do it or not. Alright, let's listen to the Soul Muga Buga song. Hey! 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 Boom. Alright, let me refresh my memory here. We got the Physics Staff, the Coin, the Shine, the Silver Blade, Guard, Statue Frag. Sound off. Hey, the Soul song is actually pretty catchy. It's the best part about the arc. All right, so who can we bring? Marsha's probably not b bad to bring here, honestly. I don't know if I should bother putting a weapon on her, though. Probably not. Like, she's too weak to fight, so it's fine. Yeah, the soul mark fucking sucks. Don't you guys agree? Like, the more I think about the soul mark, the more I realize just how boring it is, like, from a gameplay perspective. It's such a bad arc. Right, we're good on knives. I guess I'll trade them around just in case. 
So here's a funny little tidbit. Uh, on Maniac Mode, you have these very unique items, which only appear in this chapter. They are blue Lagustones, one-use Lagustones, and they're put on them to make them transform instantly, uh, to make the map a little bit harder. They will use them automatically on turn one, or pretty... I think they'll use... The thing is, you can get this with Soth. And you can also... There's another one, I think, which you can get. This one you can get. And... What about... Yeah, you, you can get you can get this one. And then you can also get this one with Soth if you smite him on turn one. They appear on the Raven boat map as well, actually. Very hard to steal though. I didn't know that actually. That's interesting. But yeah, our armor knights are gonna be a little shit. In this desert map, sadly, not much we can do about that. This map is just kind of dull, honestly. There's one here that I don't think we're gonna get. We can steal from this bird, actually. There's, there's, wow, there's two of them to steal, actually. Um, I don't think we can get both of them though. So the question is, what do we want to deal with? A bird, or do we want to deal with a? Uh, What do we want to deal with? A tiger or a bird? I, I feel like... You can get all of them? How? They use them immediately, don't they? I don't know which one I should go for first. This guy or... I'll definitely grab this one with Soth. Mordecai can smite the armors on this map. Yeah, he's great for that. That's why I'm bringing him. And if I remember correctly, I do not think the Lagoose lances are effective against Lagoose outside of their Lagoose form. Yeah, I know I have two thieves, but they still use them on turn one, don't they? Left can shove transform. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. There we go. I just gotta watch their gauge, because there's some of them who trans... I don't think these guys transform on turn one. Are you getting Stefan? Of course I'm getting Stefan. Do -do -do -do. Oh, I don't even need to smite so to get this one. And this is kind of funny, because it really... It puts a damper on how quickly they can transform, which I think is kind of funny. Oh, wow, she... Oh, nice. Oh, they are effective. Okay. 95 hit. Let's go. Boom. Alright, people don't like engage music. Fine. I have no idea what I'm starting to play here. Oh, okay, cool. Donkey Kong music. I guess that 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 that's cool. I just put on some random music. I didn't even see what I clicked. Uh, I guess what we can do then is we can, if we smite Soren, he can just go and like bonk this guy with an Elfire. Oh, he doesn't even... Oh, my goodness. He doesn't... Do I really need to do this, though? Honestly? I mean, it's nice to get rid of this guy so he doesn't kill Soph, I guess. I'd put on uh, your Lion April music, uh, sweetie, if, it, if I didn't get copyrighted for it. Yeah, uh, Bethany and I, we we finished your Lion April yesterday. Uh, it, it's actually my favorite anime of all time. Actually. 
I've never I've never been so devastated by a show. Don't spoil in case there's someone watching here, but absolutely magnificent. I cried. I I I cried during the last episode. That was that was that was horrendous. That was absolutely horrendous. I mean, great. Yeah, it's great, but it's it's terrible how how sad it makes you. Um, but yeah, it's my favorite anime of all time, uh, and I'm not just saying that to, like, please my fiancé, I really do believe it. Vinlon Saga comes in, like, a close second, but, uh, the, the last episode kind of solidified it for me. It was, like, the last episode just made everything click so well, and it was just, like, horror. I had trouble sleeping after watching it, that's how sad I was. Volk gonna die? I don't think so. I don't see why he would. Alright, let me see. Right, where's the treasure close to me again? So, there's a coin. We don't give a shit about that. But there's a guard scroll. We don't really give a shit about that either. We do want the physics stuff, though. I, I mean, that, that, that final performance that the two of them do in the final episode is like... It's, it's not like anything I've ever seen, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I can see the criticism that some people find it a little bit too melodramatic, which is fair, but I think I think if you don't tear up in the final episode, there's probably something wrong with you, honestly. I don't know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It is a good anime. It's really good. Oh, we got a crash. First crash of the stream. I do think one of the... I, I, I can't transfer my save files over, but... If I'm doing this again, I'm definitely getting Donald's emulator. I think he has a much better emulator than me. He has a much newer version of Dolphin, like a really new one. That is like, I think I think the fact that I'm running a slightly old version of of Dolphin is kind of screwing me over a little bit. Watch Code Grease, Mangs. Your line April is sad, but Code Grease is a strategic masterpiece. Maybe you could learn a little bit from it. Well, I don't watch anime to learn. I watch anime to, you know. I don't know why I watch anime, honestly. Let's keep Marsha on the back. We gotta keep wrist protected, too. <clears throat> Code Grease? Like, what? Did I say it wrong? Oh, uh, do they attack immediately? They do, don't they? I think Wolf might be dead. Wait, what? How do I pronounce it then? Wait, what? Hey, 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 Whew. Okay, that was kind of scary. No, they're surrounding him! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, Volk. Oh, Volk. Oh, boy. That was scary. The Lagoose Lance is very heavy. I probably shouldn't have used it. Uh, okay. I think if we just smite Search, we should be fine, right? But wrist is kind of in the way, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I haven't killed him yet, guys. He's not dead yet. Um. <laughs> I mean, I guess what I could do is, like, if I just... I need to move wrist out of the way, and then I'll just need to heal with Volk using some other me means. I mean... To be fair, Volk could just run around, and I could just pick him up with Marsha, which honestly might be better. Volk is pretty fast like that, so I think I think that's I'm probably overthinking this a little bit. Um, I think if if we smite Marsha, that'll get her a little bit closer. Wow, Mordecai can smite our Marsha. That's kind of funny, actually. Then we'll do like this. Uh, we got we got two birds right now, so we gotta be a little bit careful. We want to put Brom here. I don't know if we want to release him. I don't think so. We'll do this. Wrist alive and missed dead. How did that happen? Well, 
I don't know, she died to an enemy? How do you think it happened? <laughs> okay, we have to kill this bird. That's kind of important. Uh, this guy's not gonna transform yet, so we can steal his vulnerary with so. Toxic streamer. <laughs> I'm very toxic. I'm the most toxic of streamers. Oh my god, wait, has that branch always been there? You guys see that? You guys see that? There's like a little... There's like a little branch on their level up. Has that always been there? What? Has that always been there? Alright, um... Well, that was kind of scary. I don't... I thought Jill would be more tanky than this. Oh, your mouse is in the screen, sorry. Um... Ow, why, why do they hurt so much? Maybe I should have given Jill the Draco shield. Thing is, she can't take more than two, so... So wait, with the Lagoose Lance, she doesn't get doubled, right? No, she doesn't, so... Maybe it's better to just do this. I could heal with Riss, actually. That might be better. It's not like Volk needs healing right away, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll chug some javelins at them and then I'll heal. Ooh, maybe I can even kill her. Nice. Yeah, this is good experience for, uh, for Jill right here. So this is... I gotta make sure I... Yeah, be very careful. These tigers move faster through the desert than you think, so... I'll give him the eye, her the eye mist, otherwise we risk her not dodging. Oh, donation, sorry. Noel, don't want a 10 bucks for Super Chat. Mengs, the reason I don't like Makalov is because he's a person I find absolutely abhorrent. He only sees family as a means of money, and as a person who values family, I can't stand Oh, I agree. Makalov is a shitty person. I guess I just have a... a fin I have a... This is a little bit weird, but I have always been drawn to characters with flaws, and I kind of like that Makalov is kind of like this irredeemable scumbag. I, I don't like him because he is a scumbag, but I like him because I think it's it's a different take on a character, if that makes sense. Like, it's not very often that Fire Emblem goes this direction with some of his characters. It seems to me like, very often, Fire Emblem wants to try and be memorable? So it wants to create likable characters, and in doing that, it sometimes does the quite opposite. I just, I like characters with flaws. I like characters that have, that are not perfect, that are fallible and have mistakes, and they're, and they're, they're like, they have demons, and Makalov is definitely like a very lazy guy, which is, I think, I think being lazy is a very difficult character trait to find endearing, because, la like, who likes a lazy character, right? Like, it's, it's probably, among, like, the sins of a character, I think maybe being lazy is one of the least likable traits. Because <coughs> we, we don't tend to be drawn to... I think you, you do have Har, who likes to sleep a lot. But I wouldn't say that his he's lazy, he just likes to sleep. It's, it's kind of a weird little... Weird little thing. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna kill this guy with Soaring, guys. Yeah. I'm not gonna mess around with it. It's fine when it's a cute anime girl doing it. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean... I mean, of course, guys. You can get a, you can get away with anything if you're hot. That, that's, that's just the law of the universe. Uh, let's go get the guard scroll. It kind of sucks, but we might as well get it, right? Oh, most people are lazy for sure, yeah. Human beings are inherently lazy. We, we like to conserve our energy. That's that's just how we work. All right, uh, do we just kill this guy with Seahark? I think we do. Might as well use the Lagoose Slayer. We almost never use it anywhere else. Oh yeah, Hilda. Yeah, exactly. I mean, li that's literally Hilda's personality, but it's okay because she has big tits, so no one no one really cares. Matt McCleskey, don't donate five bucks for Super Chat. Hi, Mengs. Remember Meg, OD, Radiant Dawn? Sure you do. Would you? Who would you say is her equivalent in each Fire Emblem game? Meg is a weird one, because 
she is not just a bad unit, but she's also like an unappealing character. <clears throat> I think another unit that fits the mag archetype really well is Dorothy from FE6. She's literally like, her, her trait is that she's ugly. She comes as an archer with stats barely above that of Volt in Chapter 7. I think Dorothy was made as a bit of a joke. I know you like her down a lot, I know, because you got an affinity for, for eat stupid things, but I think Dor Dorothy kind of fits that mold. Uh, Wendy? Ah, no, not really, because Wendy, if you train her, she's actually like a growth unit, so. Oh. Sorry about that. The uh, dolphin is going kind of crazy here. I think Dorothy is cute. I mean, that's fair. Here's the thing, though. Like, Meg isn't really hideous. She's just a normal-looking girl in a world of supermodel. Like, you place Meg next to Nephany, yeah, Meg's gonna look very ugly, but... The thing about Meg is, like, if you actually look at her, she just looks like a normal, like, slightly chubby girl. Like, she isn't, like, hideously ugly or anything. It's just that every single girl in Fire Emblem looks like a supermodel. She's not even that obese, honestly. She just wears kind of chunky armor. And you guys know me, I'm not a Meg defender. Maybe like a normal American girl. No, but look up... Like, like come on, like... Okay, let, let's actually look up her artwork, because... I, I think people overvalue... Like, I don't think Meg is... I don't remember Meg being, like, fat. She just has kind of like... A, okay, maybe a little bit... I don't, I don't think she's fat, per se. I think, ah, uh, maybe, okay, actually, maybe a little bit fat. Okay, she's actually kind of fat. Maybe a little bit. I don't remember exactly. Okay, maybe a little, like, she's not obese, though. She's just chunky. Yeah, I mean, obviously she's not as attractive as the rest of the Fire Emblem girls. No, I'm just saying, like, I obviously don't find Meg attractive. I just, I'm just saying, I think people sometimes overstate just how ugly she is. Like, people describe her as this, like, hideous abomination. But she just looks like, like, a regular, slightly chunky farm girl. She's just a normal person in a world of supermodels. And she is the daughter of Braum, after all. Keep this in mind. Isn't she still a kid? Well, I'm not, like... Maybe, but I'm not talking about her in that way. Like, you can still call a kid ugly or pretty, you know? Like, I'm just saying, people talk about Meg like she's this kind of monster. And I think that's a little bit unfair. I don't think that's accurate at all. Uh, Silverblade. Hmm. Meg's calling children ugly. I mean... If your kid's ugly, your kid's ugly. What am I gonna say? Ah, yeah, Gatrio likes being shoved around by cat girls. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, good. <laughs> I was a little scared there for a moment. Uh, let's see. I think there is a coin like here. No? Do I care about the coin? Not really. I don't really know why I care. Have you seen children? Some of them are kind of ugly. I mean, babies are almost always adorable, I think. But yeah, I mean, there are definitely, like, I've seen children who are like, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. But, you know, all, all kids are adorable in their own way. And, you know, the most important thing is that their parents love them, obviously. Uh, let's see, where... Where is this stupid little... So that's one, two, three. It's like four spaces up from the... So one, two, three, four. It should be here. Like, what the hell? It should be here. What? Well, I don't get it. Why is it not... Okay, that's kind of weird. Huh? Did I find it already? Oh, maybe I, maybe I actually, like, found it already or something. I don't know. Biorhythm does not affect uh, item finding in this game. Don't know why I'm doing this with Lef, um, but I feel like giving this kill to Jill. 
This is actually a very nice experience for her. You can kind of take this map at your own pace. It's a, it, this map is honestly, it's horribly designed. It is really badly designed in my opinion. Where's Stefan? We'll go find him. We'll go find him. No, I'm not checking bar rhythm. Shut up. Go watch my bar rhythm video. This music is really chill. I could listen to this all night. Ooh, nice experience for Gatri. Desert maps are almost universally badly designed. Yeah. They're uh they're not always great, I will I will admit. Just reducing the movement of all your characters. Where's the coin? Did I pick it up already? I think maybe I've already picked it up. Do you know where this music is from? It's the Donkey Kong stage on Smash 64, I think. Let's go, skill speed! He's cap defense, so it's honestly fine. Whatever he's getting, I, I don't mind. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna take my time with Jill and just kill all these cats with her. I think it, it, it's by far the best way for her to get experience and become a vibrant lord. It's original. I know where it's originally from, but this particular rendition, I'm pretty sure, is from. Um... Oh, I already found the coin. Okay, well that kind of makes sense then. Engage dust map were most tolerable, but they should get rid of them entirely. Um, yeah, I didn't like the one with with rising sea levels. I thought that one was really annoying. All right, let's get the physics staff. There we go. And then we also got to get the uh, the shine tome, the silver blade, the boots. We got to get. Uh, I'm thinking probably what we do here. We just let Brom deal with all these lagoos. Don't you guys think so? Like just just let him solo the whole pack. Like I I don't see why we wouldn't do it that way, right? We need, we need, we actually need to bring Leth up to Stefan's area, now that I think about it. Yeah, we need to bring her up here. Well, we can follow with Riss, I think that's fine. Leth go over here, we gotta get Stefan. Has Mangs not used Marsha? No, not really using her now. Not really using her at all. Alright, so I will just drop Braum off here and he can just solo these guys. With an Iron Lance. I don't think they really do damage to him, so... And even if they do, I have Sora here to heal, so I think it should be fine. The desert maps are on fire... The best desert arc in Fire Emblem is Styxia, yeah, because there's only one place that takes place on a desert. Yeah, the stick. I will say, though, like, I had the most fun making the Styxia yeah, maps, even though I only made one of them. But uh, I will die in a hell. Tomb of Horrors is a good map. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. It's a good map. It's gonna be fun to draft race it tomorrow. I hope we reach it. All right, the Braum training arc is beginning. He's taking slight damage here, actually, but he's gonna get so much damage from fighting these Lagoos. This is gonna be great levels for him. Oh, look at that, getting some luck and resistance. That's actually really nice. Six damage from the cats, okay. I didn't expect him to take so much. Kinda wish I had a physics staff here. Strength, skill, luck, and rest. Okay. Not bad. Um, I was kind of expecting him to take less damage from these cats. Uh, I guess we'll just... Uh, maybe we'll just use the parry gif here. Oh! <laughs> I find the shine tome! Nice job, Rob! <laughs> that's actually really cool. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And I think there's something here, right? Yeah, coin. And then, um... There's like one cat here. Vulcan deal with like one cat, though. Finding the boots is worth it, in my opinion. We also gotta go find the statue frag. That's also kind of important. So... Does Fates have desert maps? Yes, birthright. Oh, come on, really? What? Oh, wow. Dolphin just crashed. It just literally shut itself off. I've never seen it do that before. That's kind of funny. 
I told you, it's the most Sundare of emulators. It heard us talking about another game, and it just decided to crash itself. Kind of funny, right? Alright, let's see. Um... Okay, we have to do this round again. I, I do apologize for that. I do apologize for that. Oh no, Brom's gonna get a different level up now. No, he's gonna get the same one. Did you enable the error login for Dolphin like I told you? No, I didn't, I didn't realize you told me. Are you playing on an emulator? I know, right? Breaking the law. Yeah, you get the same RN, so it's fine. All oh, rest for Jill is so nice. Wow, I never noticed the little branches on the portrait before. That's kind of cute. Doo -doo -doo. You can't say bad about Engage when you played Fates. Yeah, I can. Fates still had way better presentation than Engage. I'm sorry, but it's true. I. I know you engaged fanboys will defend the gameplay to the death, and you have a right- you, like, you have a right to defend the gameplay, and that's fair. I will admit, Engage has kinda interesting gameplay. But the truth is that Engage presentation was ass. And it fucking failed drawing in new fans, and it's been terrible for the franchise. It's been w one of the worst game- oh my god, really? It's been one of the worst games in the franchise for, like, YouTube popularity. And, like, engagement as a whole. <laughs> Get it? Engagement? I don't know why the emulator is having such a bad time with this particular section of the desert map. It's kind of weird. Engages a Fates wannabe, but fails to hit the high... Like, say whatever you want. Like, I will fully agree that the story of Fates is probably as bad as the story of Engage. Although it wasn't voice acted, so the cringe doesn't always come true as much, but, like, there are parts about Fates' story that is just so atrociously bad that, you know, I think we almost forget at times how bad it used to be. But, um, but Fates had good presentation. And what I mean by that is that, that it had cool-looking trailers, cool-looking characters, cool-looking cinematics, characters didn't look like jokes. It, it actually, like, is kind of a big deal. People st still making art of Fates characters. Yeah, I mean, Fates is probably like more popular among the fan base than Engages at this point, I think. Ooh. Why the hell did he take so much damage? Oh boy, can I get him out of there? Can I get him out of there? Uh, shit. Smite him to safety, please. Okay. I was kind of hoping Braum wouldn't take so much damage from these guys. But I guess it's fine. Alright, we gotta go get Stefan. You said to yourself, Engage's story is beyond cringe. Yeah, but a thing that Engage fanboys will very often say when you criticize the story of Engage is that, like, Fate's story is equally bad. And I, I actually kind of agree. Fate's story is really shit. I'm not saying that... Fate's story was better, but Fate's had a lot of other things going in its favor that I think was just better for it overall. See, we have a silver blade that we gotta pick up. I think it's like right here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, best item in the game right here. Let's go. I think, honestly, Fate's not having voice acted characters helped it a lot. I, I actually think that that was a strength. Because here's the thing. When you don't voice act, you don't always notice how cringe things are. Like, imagine if they voice acted the parry supports. Just fucking imagine if the parry supports were voice acted. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh my god, it would have been so bad. I gotta be careful here because uh, Riss might be in danger if I'm... Oh shit, hi. Come on. Wow, the emulator is really struggling with this desert level. My goodness. Oh, nice one, bro. 
Never played Fates. What's a parry? Uh, worst waifu ever? Probably. Have you thought about doing a conquest with birthright characters? Yeah, it's definitely, like, on the list of things I'd like to do. For sure. I thought this was an enemy tiger. Oh my god. I thought... <laughs> I was like, why can't I attack him? <laughs> I think I got everything except for the white gem and the statue frags. So I think we can probably start traveling over here with Volk. Oh my goodness, the emulator is struggling with this desert map. Alright, now I just gotta be careful that I don't... Uh, I might need to pick up Riss with Leth, honestly. Let's see how fast is this guy. 13 speed. Oh, wow, Riss actually doesn't get doubled. What the hell? But he can just walk out of range, and it's probably better for him, I'd say. You missed guard? No, I didn't. Oh, wait, I did. Thank you. <laughs> I did I did indeed miss guard. Oh, what the hell? Oh, they're stealing vulneraries. Nope. Sorry. Jill gets all the kills. Camilla is great. Camilla is an interesting character. Um, I do agree that there is more to her than just fan service, although I think that is a big part of her entire design. Um, she's kind of crazy, which I think is weird, but it's it's interesting, I guess. Like she is legitimately a unhinged Fire Emblem character. Like Camilla is actually kind of dark, if you really look at it. Like she is not sane. She is not sane at all. In the routes where where Corin doesn't pick her. She she goes kind of bonkers. I mean, she is though. Don't you guys agree? Like she she literally says this is a line that she says. Oh wow, I forgot about this. Oh. This is literally a line that she says. If I can't if I can't have you, Corin, then I will cradle your corpse in my arms. Literally. Like she just like freaking came out of Planned Parenthood. Like that's that's pretty dark. That's pretty dark. So, uh... I can fix her? Of course, you can fix... You can fix anyone. Alright, we gotta go... Oh, hi. Alright. There he is. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone's favorite okay unit, Stefan. Uh, Stefan is one of those units who is really amazing on hard mode. Like, really amazing on hard mode. Look at these stats. He's pretty crazy. Comes with the vague Cody. It isn't his sword, but only he can use it for a little while. Um, he comes with Astra, which breaks his vague Cody faster, which is great. I mean, you look at this guy and you're like, wow, 25 speed, 19 strength, 27 skill. That's pretty good, right? But then you look at his luck of 5. And this is, this is detrimental on Maniac mode. Um, he doesn't have good supports, sadly. He has one with Soren, and I don't remember who else. I think just Soren, right? And his affinity is Heaven, which sucks. So, problem with, with, with Stefan is that he doesn't meet the, the survival threshold for, for a unit to survive on Maniac mode. You bring Stefan to the late game, he will die. I can absolutely guarantee it, unless you're very lucky. He, he will die. You could support him with Mordecai, maybe, but ugh, the Heaven affinity is so shit, man. It only gives hits. It's so trash. So, uh, yeah, Stefan is... On hard mode, he, he kicks he kicks butt. He's really fun to use, but he just isn't tanky enough for Maniac mode. I'm sorry to say, it's just, he just isn't, so... Um, oh, cool. So I haven't listened to this one in forever. I used to love this track as a kid. So we got the we got the white gem, which we gotta we can try and look for it. Let's oh, Stefan found it. Nice. Oh wait, where's the statue frag? Okay, it's up there. Okay. Mang Sim for Samus. Not gonna lie, Sira suit Samus pretty hot. Okay, I think we can probably like mop up the rest of these enemies right now. 
Gotta be a little careful, though. We don't want to rush headfirst into danger. Oh, I still have the growth rights. Sorry about that. So, here's the thing. I think we got everything we can get from the desert right now, which is good. Who should we? Who? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll just... So, who do we put the boots on? Who do we put the boots on? I actually don't know. Uh, save boots for Ryson. I kinda like that. Oh, hi. Not gonna lie, boots on Ryson is not bad. Do, 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 do. I should just chip these guys. I don't know why I'm using the Lagoose Lance. It's better to chip them. Do, 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 do. Although the Lagoo Slayer is pretty memeable, so I guess there's no point in there's no problem in using it up. Ico Racing, um, yeah, I don't know. Boots on Ike is not terrible, but I I feel like it's not really needed either. I I like giving it to a unit with Kanto. Oh, sorry about the donuts. Um, Don Lord, donate five bucks for super chat. On Dolphin, go to view log configuration, enable write to file. Send me error logs afterwards. Maybe I can figure out why it's crashing. Uh, too complicated right now. I don't want to mess with settings while I'm streaming, but I can. I could do it uh, after the stream. Very nice. Ooh, 18 defense on Braum. Let's go. I know why the emulator is dying. It's because of the sandstorm. It really doesn't like the sandstorm. Alright, we got some nice levels on CR care, which is nice. Speed and luck. Let's go. Capped speed on Seahark. The luck is nice, too. Oh, sorry. I'll read the donations. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Uh, TX, don't have five bucks for Super Chat. Do you think Advanced Wars map custom or vanilla against Zeos or Perma Weather that increase movement on maps do better than Fire Emblem? What? Do you think Advanced Wars map custom or vanilla against Zeos or Perma Weather that decrease movement on maps do better than Fire I do not understand what you just said. I am sorry. This, this donation is... I do not understand your question. Do you think Advanced Wars maps custom or vanilla against Seos or Perma Weather that decrease movement on maps do better than fire? What? I, I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. I have no idea what you're asking. Uh... Gabriel Bracoot donated uh, five bucks for Super Chat. Mengs, did you finish watching the second season of Inland Saga? I have no enemies. It's actually an inspiring quote. Yeah, I watched it with Bethany, actually. A very, uh, very, very good, very good anime. Second, second best anime I watched. It's very, it's, uh, Vinland Saga is really good. And one of the things I like about Vinland Saga is that the person who made Vinland Saga really knows his shit about Vikings, because they're very well depicted in that anime. And that's kind of important if you're gonna make an anime of a Viking, so you better know your Viking lore. I think he's asking if Advanced Wars does movement mechanics better than Fire Emblem, specifically move? Maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, nice! I Is that the first time Siarik has broken up Adept? That might be the first time we ever proc the depth, guys. Oh, uh, maybe we can get a Jill to Vibrant Lord in this chapter. That'd be actually kind of cool. Let's do it. Uh, I think I got guard. I'm pretty sure I got guard. Yeah, it's here. 
All right, let's uh, let's fight Marim. He doesn't have two range, so it's pretty easy to just level Jill up on him, I think. Boots on Ike. Kind of want to give him to Jill, not gonna lie. Bow him on Andra. Oh, right, he doesn't attack. That's interesting, actually. Well. Oh, maybe I can throw javelins on him as well with Moran. Let's do it. Boots on Soren? I don't know about that. Will someone please pay $200 for him to put boots on Soren? <laughs> Uh, wait, did he just... Oh, shit, he just... No, no, he doesn't untransform, okay. Boots and so... Hey, question! If you give someone boots, does boots transfer over when you transfer their stats in Radiant Dawn? Because I actually don't know if it does. I don't... I would... I would think no. No, okay. That would maybe have been a little bit too good, honestly. Does not. It would be kind of funny if it did, though. Alright. I'm just gonna keep healing Jill. There we go. Okay. Once we get that kill, we can, uh, we, she'll promote to Vibrant Lord. Boss doesn't have healing. I know, I know. Alright, Riss is level 17, guys. He's level 17. He's gonna cap magic and skill. That's kind of nice. Let's go. Plus change! Oh yeah. How much bonus experience did we get? Probably nothing. Now we'll do memes. I know you guys have been very patient. You've been very patient. Oh yes, best character in the game right here. Oh ho! All right, new ally. MVP was Jill. Stefan, Tormod, and Marim. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess it's time to look at some memes. Now, I am a little bit tired tonight, and I have a big draft race tomorrow. So I think I might just only do one more chapter tonight. Um, normally, I'd probably do the whole Serenus Forest arc, but I think I want to go to bed a little early tonight, because we're going to... I'm going to be doing, like, an eight-hour stream tomorrow, so... But we can do a meme review on one more chapter. All right, let's see. <laughs> Make Maka love, not Maka war. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh my god, I hate it. Worst meme of the night. Do, 
<laughs> accurate. Very accurate. I like that. That's a good meme. If you're thin, if you're thin, you're not coming in. What is this, like a place for fat people? Why not just open a donut shot? The problem, <laughs> the problem will fix itself. You know? Chubby girls are underrated as well as the gilfs. Okay, you know, liking, okay, if you like chubby girls, good on you, all right? Good on you. Really, like, you're, you're allowed to have your preferences on that, like, you know, I don't, but it's 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 perfectly fine. If you if that's what you like, that's what you like. But grandmothers, really? I mean, come on, dude. Like that's just wrong. Like I'm sorry. There are there are things I will shame you for in this chat. You know, there are things I'll like lightly shame you for, and then and then there's things I'll shame you a lot. If you think grandmothers are hot, you, there is something wrong with you. I'm sorry. You should. Your grandma should be knitting socks and baking you cookies. You should not... Well, I know it's not your grandma. I mean, it's like grandmas in general. Like, it is... There's something quite not right with you. I'm just gonna say that all right. But, okay. You do you. Brom sex life. <laughs> oh, Brom sex life. Let's go. Why are you here? Someone paid me to kill Makalov, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess that's pretty good. My job here is done. But you killed Makalov. Exactly. <laughs> so he got like nine children, Max 2023. Don't shame me. Don't shame me. I never had a crush on a virtual character. Lois doesn't count. I ain't gay. How does it feel? I, I never had a crush on a virtual character. Louis doesn't count. I ain't gay. How does it feel? Well, clearly you already know the question to your own answer. It's just you're in denial. <laughs> yeah. In case you guys don't know, Soren is actually Ashnard's son. Spoiler. <laughs> okay, okay, listen here. Listen here, motherfucker. That katana that I am holding, okay. I agree that my outfit is not great in this picture. I will, I will fully admit. Um, the shoes are kind of worn, and it's not a great outfit, I will admit. This is 20-year-old me, I really had no concept of what kind of clothes I put on my- on myself. But the katana is actually a 400-year-old sword, and it has killed over 20 people in duels, because what the samurai would do is they would- they would carve a notch into the hilt for every kill they- they did. So it could have been- belonged to a very dishonest samurai who boosted up his kill count, maybe. Uh, but apparently this sword has, like, killed over 30 people, which I think is kind of, kind of cool. Well, in duels, at least. Like, it's killed, it killed 20 people in duels. So, it's a well-used sword, it has ended people's lives, and it's, I don't think it really has a price, if I'm gonna be completely honest, it's... Oh, no, let me get the rest of the memes. Ah, someone submitted their very first meme. Oh my goodness, that's so many memes. What the hell? Some guy just sent me like 12 memes at once. What the hell? It better be funny. You can't just do quantity over quality. You gotta, you gotta step up your, your meme game. Mm -hmm. I 
think I got all the memes now. Yeah, I do. Good. Good. Don't encourage them. Don't encourage them. Guys, goth girls are tall, thick, and sexy. Real goth girls. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing that you guys don't realize is that, like, you only notice the hot ones. Okay, there's a lot of golf girls who look like complete train wrecks. You just don't notice them. Or maybe they just don't go out in public. I don't know. But, but I feel like goth girls... Guys just believe that, like, the soonest you go goth, you just become a 10 out of 10 babe. I've seen a lot of really weird-looking goth girls. Insult me all you wish. My head is too smooth. The smoothest there is. Your sword simply slide right off! Why are you using the shirtless Magnus pick for this meme? You're my good boy. ASMR, you're my good boy. Soft talking mommy GF laying in my lap. Chat. And something is rising and it's not Metal Gear. You know... Occasionally, I will click on an ASMR video just to read the comment section. And the top voted comment is almost always the same thing and you know what that is? I am lonely. And it's very sad. It's very sad. The quickest way to a man's heart is through a woman's chest. Who are you? Who are so wise in the ways of science? The quickest man to a way to a man's heart is through a woman. Did I say that? Two years ago. Where did I say this? Two years ago. I don't remember make I don't remember writing this comment, but then again I say a lot of stupid shit, so. <laughs> Why does ChatGPT make so many OP bosses? Oh fuck it, do it again. Me seeing Mengs attempting another part of Radiance Iron Man. Did I ever tell you of the definition of insanity? <laughs> oh, I love Nacho Varga. Perry, you filthy casual. Oh, sorry, you guys didn't see the text. There we go. I was today's year old when I learned Erica has better growth rates and bases than Lynn. She does, actually. It's just that, um... Uh, she, she does, actually. Way better. I mean, but that's just because she's a Sacred Stones character. Like, there is a significant power creep in the stats and growth rates of FE6, FE7, and FE8. Like, if you take a character from FE6 and you compare the bases and growth rates to a character in the two other games, you'll see that they are much higher. Sacred Stones characters are just, like, much stronger than their FE6, FE7 counterparts. That's not true, Manx. Ah! Uh... It does. It's not this. It, it doesn't apply to all units. I, I would say that in FE6 there are some units that break this mold, like Rutger, for example, uh, because he gets hard mode bonuses on hard mode, especially. There are some units that are better in FE6 comparatively. Like Percival is maybe stronger than any unit comparatively speaking in FE6. Uh, but overall, at least in the early game, the characters in Sacred Stones have better stats. Particularly, one thing they do have is a lot more luck. This is a thing you'll see in Sacred Stones, like, characters have way higher base luck than they have in the other two games. And enemies are also weaker, which means they level up easier. Billy, what have you done? You should buy orbs. Shoot him again, Billy. Yeah, don't buy orbs, that's a bad idea. Hey, my name's Ewan. I'm difficult to train because of my low defense growth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's not difficult to train, though. You just hit from two range. Friend, rest, luck, and skill are all the best stats. Me, you're wrong. You're stupid. Go to my first video. Go back. Well, do, don't do it now, but after the stream. Go back to my very first Fire Emblem video uploaded in 2011. And see what I say. And see what I say. Literally, in like the first five minutes. Yep, I say that luck is the best stat. I say this unironically. I believed, back in the day, that luck was the best stat. And the reason why- and Marcus is a bad unit. Yeah, 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 it's all on camera. It's all there, immortalized for everyone to see forever. I say Marcus is bad, and I say that luck is the best stat. This, these are opinions that I had. 
And it made sense to me because, hey, luck affects so many things. It affects hit, it affects avoid, it affects crit, it affects crit. That's four things! You know, one point of luck gives you four things, whereas one point of strength only gives you one thing, which is damage, so clearly luck is four times better than strength, right? That's how I thought. And to a noob, this logic makes sense. Want some candy? Wait, don't run. Ugh, Kubone and his legs, man. Like, give- like, this- this man, like, squats every day. Character cold mists, rest of the world Germans. Doesn't it mean to shit? In- in German? My feeling when Barth levels rest. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Oh, we've seen this one. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Me in action. I wish he had a gun. Oh, bowed. I get it now. Took me a little while. <laughs> it's like nine children. <laughs> this is fine. Uh. <laughs> this is worthless. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's great. I like that. That's cute. <laughs> oh, that was a good game. Oh my god, what a great game. Seriously, Slay the Princess, such a good game. Play it. Seven stages of grief, Meg. Really? Meg is fat? Meg isn't fat. I don't like it when people call Meg fat. Meg is in a game filled with supermodel. Maybe Meg is fat. Let me check his Meg fat. <laughs> I guess Meg is fat. <laughs> okay, that's a good meme. That's a great meme. <laughs> I love this meme. I love this meme. This meme is great. <laughs> Alright, I think we've, we've done all of them now. Let me just see if there's like any... There's always some leftover memes whenever I go back. Uh, no, actually, I don't think... No, nope, no more memes. Okay. Alright. Uh, I didn't see any memes from you, Harden. You probably want to try resending them. Can I... Can this thing stop? I didn't see any memes from you, Sultan Harden, so try resending them all. I'll do them- I'll, I'll do them next time uh, meme review. Alright. Oh, here we go. Free Occult Scroll. Very nice. Oh, that's right. You have to say- It's so dumb. Like, why did- Why do you have to say yes to the Occult Scroll? It's so dumb. Like, you don't get anything for saying no. But I do appreciate having it around. Um... Okay, hear me out, guys. I want to see if stun has any merit at all. I've never tried using stun before. I know it's garbage. Does it work? Okay, if if she stuns on enemy face, can they can they still move on the next enemy face? Abyssal Dragon, none of the five bucks. Just curious. Are you going to give the Vague Cotty and the Night Ward to Toronio to get him five additional defense? I, I was I'm definitely going to level him up with the Night Ward. Yeah, for sure. Pretty sure they can. Okay. Uh, TX, don't the five bucks. Just super shot. Armored Samus will always be more attractive to me than Sarah Suit Samus in, in, in a canon design. I like the mysteriousness of it more than the typical supermodel body. I guess, if you like armor tricks, then I, I see why you like Samus, but I mean, come on. It's Sarah Suit Samus. Um, put Soul on Titania. They refresh at the start. Okay, so it, it literally doesn't work. You can't stun multiple enemies on enemy face. Then. Okay, I get it. I get it. That kind of sucks. Um, well, we don't have any experience to give away, which is kind of sad. 
Uh, cancel. Hmm. Huh. Maybe Seahawk? I mean, honestly, I do like the combination of cancel adept because it means that sometimes he just won't take counterattack damage. So I think I'm gonna do that. It's kind of kind of sweet for him not to take damage back. So we have two occult scrolls. So I'll give one to Ike after he promotes. One to Oscar. Um. All right, this is so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, this is it's terrible skill. Absolute. Wait, what? Oh, what? I'm loading custom textures now. Wait, 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 wait. This Brom. Oh, Brom has his crown back. Um, I was kind of trying to remove that though. Sorry, but I, uh, I think it, I think it enables uh, crashes, so. Oh, wow, really? Um. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I don't remember how to turn that off right now. Is it? Oh, it's graphic options, right? Mm, yeah, load custom textures. There we go. I don't know why, but I think it may be one of the reasons why the dolphin is crashing more. It seems, yeah, it lags much less now, so I think I need to keep this off. I think custom textures taxes the emulator quite a bit. Alright, well, we got a lot of money now, which is nice. Uh, we can forge some more javelins, which is sweet. Ooh, we got physics as well. And boots. Ah, oh, guys. When can you buy better daggers? Is, can you can you do that now? Ah, yes. Very nice. There's no point in uh, hanging on to these knives anymore. When you got daggers. Boots, Jill. Ah, oh, boots, Jill. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's talk about the new Eunice that just joined. Uh, here we have Tormod, and uh, I will use Tormod, or I'll try to. I'll, I'll try to use him. I, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to yet. Well, this is a nice trek. So, I like Tormod. He comes with Celerity, which gives him two extra moves. Uh, he also has an actual Strength Growth, which is nice, because it allows him to use the heavier tomes once his Strength Growth gets going a little bit. Um, so, I like Tormod for that reason. His, like, magic and speed is a little lower than the other mages, I think, but I can be fixed with a band or two. And furthermore, he is a, uh, he's a Sage that can heal with two extra movements, so... If I can, I'm definitely gonna try. I'm, I'm even, like, contemplating forging him something. I don't know if that's worth it, but... But he shouldn't be too hard to level. Just, you know, throw some fires at two range. Should be good. Uh, are these Shom's growth rates? They're similar to Shom, actually. I think. I think Shom has more res. And then we come to someone with... Maybe was some of the best bases in the game for his join time, and that is Marim. He's like the Hawkeye for Lilla Goose. He is just insanely bulky. Look at these stats, man. This is crazy. Like, this is with a demi band. So he comes with 20 strength, 17 speed, which is really nice. Yes, Donlot, we know you like Mordecai. That's fine. I like Marim though. I think he is. Um, I, I think he's a solid unit. Very bulky, very tanky. Good on the front lines. I like to keep the Demiband on him. Just because it's just more convenient for him to be transformed all the time. Even though he does lower his stats a little bit, it's fine. There we go. Let's listen to beautiful Princess Alinsha. I love this track. 
this track is really, really nice. Alright, so we can do Ike seriously? Oh, right. There we go. My favorite support. Uh, now they have a B support, which is great. Hey, would you look at that? Ike, Tachania literally cannot support with anyone else. They're all dead. That's kind of sad. A little bit. Let's go through and dump all the treasure. Hmm. I will definitely bring Stefan, but I'm not gonna use up the vague Cotty. Like, I'll bring him for maps where I have an extra deployment slot, but I don't think I'll keep him. Uh, Gatry is gonna become a general in the next map, so I might- I need some swords, actually. I need some steel swords. I'm running a little bit low on just basic weapons. Uh, let's see, some steel axes might be good, too. Hand axes while I have them. Should probably buy some more javelins in the next shop, honestly. And then I'm thinking some... Uh, maybe some... I think Risk can just use Shine Toms from the get-go, right? Thunder Tome for Tormod, probably. And an L Wind Tome for Tormod as well. Honestly, a Wind Tome might just be better for him early on. Because if, if he's just getting chip experience, it's like three times as cheap. Put Axis on Jill. Good idea. Good idea. I guess she can just use Steel Axis now. This is fine. There we go. I like this Vyvern. I'm tempted to put the boots on her, but I know it's a bad idea. Uh, because she's probably gonna die. Although, it is nice to have a Jill with two extra moves, though, because Kanto... Oof. Should I just do it? Should I just put boots on Jill, guys? Either, either that or I give them to Raisin when he shows up for more mobility. I mean, Raisin, honestly, if I can keep Raisin alive and give him boots, he'd be crazy. And if I could also give him the Nightbring. I'm not giving Ike boots, guys. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ike doesn't have Kanto. He doesn't really get anything out of it. Like, if you're going to give boots to someone, you want to give it to a Kanto unit. 100%. Seriously? Like, what's wrong with you, chat? Boots on Ike is not good. Why are you saying that? Ike is like, he's gonna run around and not do shit for four more chapters. And, like, even when he promotes, Ike is very seldom, like, a unit that has to, like, keep pace with other units. Like, he's usually in the front of the army. Like, I don't get boots on Ike at all. If you want to give boots, give them to Jill or Oscar or, or someone with someone who can utilize the extra movement after the attack. It makes zero sense to give them to Ike. I don't understand why you guys think this is good. Maybe we'll give him to Raisin, yeah. Alright, let's put a Steel Sword on Gatri. And, uh, what should we do here? Um, Braum, is he gonna promote soon? You know what? I... Let's take a look at Gatri. Has he... He still has only has 9 speed. I kind of feel like I'd like some extra speed on Braum, so I might just swap these two for now. I just kind of feel like it's time. Like, I, I just... I know Gatri has 9 speed, but Braum is gonna be a far more useful unit than Gatri, I think. And then I think we're gonna forge another Javelin for Clash. Alright, it's time for the Forge game! Boots on Ike. Fuck off. You're just saying it to be annoying at this point.
Oh wow. All right, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Gladiolus, okay, Davis. Gla Gladios. <laughs> That's gonna be the name. Gladios. All right, we have two forged javelins for Clash right now, which is good. That's gonna help. How are we doing on the items right here? Uh, Lagoose Slayer, we don't need that. I do think the Armor Slayer might be useful, though. Or, I don't think there's Cavaliers on this next map, so Steel Sword is probably what we want. Uh, Oscar is fine. Soren is fine. Titania, we don't need the Lagoose Axe. However, we might need some Chest Keys, actually. So I'm going to put Chest Keys on Titania. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put chest keys and door keys on my cavaliers. Oh, sorry, I forgot to remove it. Reclass Titania into a thief. I wish I could. I don't know if re I don't know if I would have liked reclassing in Path of Radiance. I I th I'm generally not a big fan of it because uh, reclassing is. I feel like it kind of takes away unit identity sometimes. I I, might, I don't mind limited reclassing, but I don't like it when everyone can become everything. I, I think it kind of cheapens cheapens the game a little bit. Alright, I think we're ready to move out. Bethany, you wanted classical? Here's classical. Alright, not Mordecai and Leth, but Gatri uh, and Tormod. Oh, I guess I have one more. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. You know what? I don't need to deploy Moran for this chapter, although I do like building support points, so. Um, hmm. Maybe I don't need Titania for this map, honestly. This map can be a little scary sometimes, but it's usually not a big deal. Uh, hmm. Who should I not bring? Maybe maybe we'll keep Titania. Titania is going to cap out. It's fine. We'll bring... Uh, I want to bring Moraim just because I like leveling support. Mortimer theme, but good. Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean, sweetie? Oh, we finally have Physic. Oh, thank you. That was about time. Alright, so this map offers the opportunity for a lot of treasure. A lot of treasure. We'll send the Armor Knights in first. There's a Sniper here you gotta be a bit cautious about. You can pick off your Tor mod if you're not careful. Use the keys with Moran. Eh, it's okay to have them on your paladins. I think it's that's completely fine. I think one of these guys have an armor slayer, but it literally doesn't matter. <laughs> because double effectiveness is mega lol, so no one really gives a shit. There is a full guard here for Jill that can be kinda nice. 
Look at this shit. <laughs> four damage from a sniper. I think he will double though. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Uh. Okay, that's not the armor slayer. Maybe Gatcher needs some more speed. Oh no! Anyway. Yeah, that is a bit of an oh no anyway moment. Um. I think that guy may have been left on low enough health. Oh, it would be if we could give the sniper kill to Tormod, that'd be really good. But honestly, might as well just attack the Myrmidon with him. Does the sniper have a killer bow? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. No, he has a steel bow. Do 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 do. Will you recruit the Halberdier? Um, I think I'll just kill Devdon for experience, honestly. Like, I don't see myself ever using him, and the Heavy Spare isn't really that viable. So, I'll probably just kill him with Tormund. <laughs> yeah, get some experience out of him instead of just keeping him on the bench, you know? Like, I'm never... Like, he sucks on Maniac Mode. It's like, he's absolute garbage. I mean, we can... We can talk him, talk about him as a unit for just a little bit, so... Um, yeah, he's, he's just shit. I mean, on hard mode, you can make him work. Um, he's okay enough for hard mode. But for for Maniac mode, yeah, he's, he's not gonna work at all. Like, his stats are just a little too low for him to be viable on Maniac mode. The speed in particular, like, you can give him the Night Ward to boost his uh, speed growth to, like, 65, which is kind of nice. You can use Devadon on the final map of Serenus Forest to eat meteors. That's actually not a bad way to use him. Uh, but I think I'll just kill him for experience. Either that or I'll sell his... Maybe it's better to sell the Heavy Spare, actually. I don't remember how much it's worth, but yeah, he's... For Maniac for hard mode, I could actually make an argument for using Devadon. Like, he's not going to be your best unit, but he's, he's, he's going to be completely serviceable. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, he will recruit himself on any kid in your army, so... Mists, Sorin, and Tormod, I think. Uh, the implications of that, I will not go into. But, uh, that's how he works. So, uh, let's see. How are... Wow, Soren doubles absolutely everything now. That's actually pretty crazy. Alright, level up for Volk. Let's go. Strength, speed, and luck. Oh, I like luck. Volk's luck is actually really bad. What the hell? Alright, we gotta level uh, Jill's axe rank a little bit. Yeah, this is the Armor Slayer, but it doesn't really matter. Like, no one no one really gives a shit about the Armor Slayer. Anyway, I really gotta get uh, Oscar to promotion. I feel like I should have done that a while ago. Ugh. What the hell? Oh, look at that. This guy has, <laughs> has a longsword. That's funny. Five damage longsword. Yeah, Oscar really needs to level up. Like, he really needs to promote. Same thing with Braum and Gatry. Alright, Booba, let's go. I think Gatry might become a general now. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see, if we attack here. Should I deal some down? Yeah, I think, you know what? Might as well chip a little bit with Ike. Oh, I don't like leaving a Mermit on alive. I'm probably just gonna kill him with Soren. Yeah. We need to see if Soren is... Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember? 
what rank bolt? Fuck! Do you guys remember which bolt, which rank you need to to use bolting in this game? Is it C? B. Okay, so I gotta I gotta train Soren's thunder rank quite a lot if I'm gonna do that. All siege tomes are yeah. Bolting is B. Really? I'm getting a lot of different answers here from people. You know, I know I said this before, but if you're not sure, don't answer my question. Like, I know, I know I should probably just look it up. It's like, if you're not sure about something, don't just give an answer. Because, like, you want to be sure, you know? Like, I, I, I appreciate your willingness to help. I really do. But sometimes I feel like you guys, some of you guys in chat just blurt out an answer. It's, it's, it's C. It's B. Like, you don't actually know. You just say something. It's like, you know, misinformation is a serious crime, you know? Oh, shit. Soren's gonna kill this guy now. Oops. You don't wanna... Do you guys... Do you... Speaking of misinformation... Have you guys heard that Elon Musk wants to, like... Do the social credit system on, on Twitter? It's pretty funny. He's like, yeah, Twitter's gonna, like, become your app for everything. And if you say bad things on Twitter... You're gonna get, like, a minus score. So your Twitter account goes down. And I'm like, hmm... Where have I heard this before? It's C rank, okay. I'm like, wow, that, that sounds like a... I should have tried to give a kill to Torgod. Oh, well. So, here we go. Here we go. Social credit system coming to the West. Who would have thought that Elon Musk would be the man to bring it here? Well, that's where we're at. Don't say bad things in chat, guys, or your credit will go down. Yes, there's a lot of soldiers coming from this side, and... I'm wondering who is, like, the best target to, to train... I'm thinking Braum, probably. Because I don't think they do damage to him. So, I think I'm just gonna, like, take on all of them. They all have Iron Lances, which is really nice. They do, like, 20 damage. So Brom will not take damage from them. I think we can get him get Brom his general promotion this turn, which is sounds really nice. I'm just gonna go eat up uh Mage with Marim. Oscar is not a bad choice either, honestly. Ooh yeah, Oscar is not a terrible choice at all, really, when you think about it. I hope I didn't kill Marim, did I? Also, I have not given up boots yet. I just want to point this out. I have not given up boots yet. Maybe I'll just ward up Volk and go kill the mage with him. Sounds like a good idea. I'm not putting boots on Ike. Shut up. Oh my god. Some of you guys are fucking relentless. Oh my goodness. Ike on boots suck. Like, Ike on boots suck. Bo <laughs> boots on Ike is a terrible idea. <laughs> Ike on boots. Oh, I should just have Torgod attack these guys. What the hell? Uh, does any of. No elf fire. Oh, shit. Wait, it's time might. What the fuck? What am I even afraid of? Um. Maybe I can trick him into attacking. Oh, wait, I can I can physic with Soren. I can physic with Soren. No! I cannot! What the hell? Why can I not? Ah. Oh, hi there. Ooh, that 1% crit, not good. Zero damage. Oh, okay. That's why he went for Tormod. Okay, he missed. That's not my 18 damage though, it's pretty scary. Alright. Braum, it's time to grind on soldiers. <laughs> the perfect daddy. Let's go. Yeah, zero damage. This is great. Braum can get his... Probably get his three final levels against all these guys. Which is really nice. Anything to steal here? Oh, a gamble. Well, we get him when we kill him, so... <laughs> probably not that... In probably not that important, I'd say. 
vague Cody Brom. If he gets the sword rank up to S, sure. La 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 la. I should probably put a band on Tor mod, shouldn't I? If I'm if I plan to if I plan to level him up. Arm scrolls? They're four thousand a piece though. Like I get it, I get I get why someone wants to use arm scrolls. Oh nice, you cancel them. Like I understand the desire to give arm scrolls, but you gotta keep in mind, money is not easy necessarily that easy to come by on, on, on maniac mode and you're essentially like you're that's a lot of money you're throwing away, okay? Like a lot. Well, you can't use the physics, so that's kind of useless. Uh, boots on Titania? Nah. Honestly, I think if I can get the... Oh, shit, I gotta hurry. Oh, no, actually, I don't. They come towards me. I'm thinking if I can put the... Uh... Oh, boobs on Titania, okay. I'm thinking if I can get the Night Ring and the Boots on Raisin, that's pretty insane. But that 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 relies on a lot of things for Raisin, and I don't know if I want to take that gamble because I'm bad at keeping him alive. I am just bad at keeping him alive. So I really don't. I feel like Jill is an option, but I'm worried. Thing is, if you put Boots on Jill, she can kill Siege Tomes really easily, and that it's kind of why I want to do it. Um, Knight donated to 322 to Super Chat. You are too slow pace to stop the thief. And by the way, boots on Tanith. I am not, because once the thief goes for these chests, he's gonna come down here. So, I am actually not too slow at all. You're too slow. Watch out, the enemy has high buy rhythm. No! Okay, we gotta heal up Oscar. Keep Oscar and Ike together, if at all possible. This part can be a little dicey, but I do have Gatry, so I should be fine. Aw, oh, beautiful Volk. Maybe we can get a kill for Torgod here. I think we absolutely can. Oh, we can. Yeah, they'll come towards you. The thieves in this chapter are coded kind of giant clay. It's really weird. Uh, ooh, Gatry is actually very low. What the hell? Um... Ooh, yeah, there's mages here. I don't... I think I need to vulnerary with him if he's gonna stay on the front lines. Ooh, I don't like that at all. I guess we'll let Oscar take the fronts, together with Ike, maybe? Uh, I've really got to promote Oscar. He's falling behind, I feel. Uh, I think it's okay to put Gatry here as long as I give him a vulnerary. He's a little bit injured. Bro's about to lose Physic and Bolting. Ah, I played this map a lot. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Like, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, this room is always a little scary, I find. Man. Oh, I need to promote Oscar, man. Like, he, need, he needs a promotion. Like, he's starting to... He needs strength and, and better weapons. So if you slap Vantage or Soren or something, he could conceivably kill a wounded unit, trying to kill him. Yeah, Vantage on Soren is actually not terrible. Uh, that has saved him before. Magic on Brom, let's go. And Brom's gonna cap defense, I think. So that's very good. Isn't that how we lost Kieran this run? Killer weapon guy? Uh, yeah, but that was like a base level Kieran, though. Uh, 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 There we go. Is Clash poorly designed? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's terribly designed. Oh boy, thank you for the experience, Piñata, I appreciate it.
Nah. 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 Oh, this is chill. Guess we'll play the the Serenus Forest music. This is I I kind of like this track. It's a little bit weird, but it also has like this weirdness to it that I that I find kind of appealing in a way. It's really weird. I don't know quite how to describe it. But it's very weird. Okay, we don't opening this door is a mistake. We should not do that. Wait, what? Oh. So I cannot really or uh Jill can't really tank this whole way. Oh I didn't put a band on him. Shit. Uh should probably have done that. Um Man, I'm not killing these enemies quickly enough, am I? What's behind that door? Enemies. Enemies are behind that door. Nasty enemies. Well, not very nasty. There's a couple of promoted enemies. Oh, very nice job. I could ward up... Uh, hmm, nah, I don't think I will. I think I need to actually kill a little bit with Soren here. How large of a donation is needed to get you to play Clash at normal speed with animations on? I don't know. How much would I pay for, like, two years of my life? That is a good question, in a way. Wow, Oscar's hit rate is awful. What the... Oh my goodness. I think if I want to, like, pierce through these guys in time, I have to... Literally use Moran here. Well, I actually don't think... Is he in range of Ike right now? I think he is. Okay. He got strength and speed. That's very good. He got strength and speed. That's actually very good. All right, I'll start moving over here with Braum. Oscar has 11 skill. That's actually really bad. Yeah, it is. That is actually atrocious, what the hell? Okay, just become a paladin, Oscar, that's all I'm asking. Okay, I gotta get Volk in range of that thief so I can steal his shit. Oh, killer bow guy, yes, I'll be careful. So there is a unit I kinda wanna try using this run. Just for the memes, and that's Oki. I've been hearing a lot of Oki propaganda lately about how Oki is actually kind of decent if you're trying him out because of his avoid. Um, I might, I might give Oki a shot in this run just to see. We'll see, we'll see. I no promises as of yet, but I, I am considering it. I am strongly cons. Oh, really? Come on, CR. Alright, so there's a killer bow guy here, so we gotta be very careful about that. If we want to send Gatry in here, we have to ward him up. That is, like, kinda essential, I think. Uh, let's see. If we send Mariam... Mariam could probably just kill this guy. Okay, I will need to heal Oscar if I'm gonna keep him on the front lines here. At least he has the Ike support, which is really nice. And then we'll use we'll use Gatry like this. We'll ward him up. And we'll see if Gatry can do something here. 
With the ward, I think he should be absolutely fine. We'll see, though. Oh, let's go! The mages don't move? I guess they don't, yeah. E rank and swords, let's go. Oh yeah. 21 defense, baby. We should do a comparison of Gacha and Braum after they promote. See how they uh, hold up. Much needed speed, yeah, absolutely. I agree. What the fuck, Oscar? I guess uh, I get, I get, I bet I bet he has good buy rhythm. Should have checked. Should have checked. That's uh, it's sad, guys. If only I if only I checked buy rhythm before initiating. Man, I feel really stupid now, guys. I should have listened. I should have listened. Did Oscar have bad buy rhythm? I, I bet he did. Oh, look, this is not the killer bow guy, I'm pretty sure. So, wait, the mages never move at all? 2% crit from Gatry, nice. Oscar, what the fuck? 49 hit? What is wrong with you? Why? I think my Oscar is skill screwed, guys. Guys, I think my Oscar is skill screwed. Yeah, that there we go. So that's why I put Volk there. Oh, that's the stuff I need to steal. Um. Oh, this guy actually. Okay, interesting. So I I can just kill this guy normally. Got it. Um. This is the killer bow guy. Like, did he have good buy rhythm? Yeah, did Oscar have buy Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Oscar did indeed have bad buy rhythm. You are correct. Okay, so I actually need to kill this guy with Joe, I think. No! God damn it. Just check buy rhythm, bro. Buy rhythm did in fact matter. It, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, but it did. Oh, what the fuck? Is, okay, I bet. Don't tell me this thief has good buy rhythm. No, he has bad buy rhythm. But so did Oscar. Yep. Okay, Cap Magic Chris, let's go! Cap Magic Chris, 11 speed though, kinda shit, but um... You take what you can get, I guess. Uh, Braum is... Still needs to move back to his friends. Um, I think we'll just use Seahark with an Armor Slayer to kill this guy. Wow, Armor Slayers are so shit in Radiant Dawn, I can't get over how fucking shit they are. Oh my goodness. They are so bad. Wish I had a two range attacker. That's not Soren. Uh, he has like what? He has like 65 avoid, but it's not enough, I think. Rex Aurora's hype. Dude, to even get the Rex Tome, you gotta like do so much stupid shit. It's it's dumb. Um Wow, uh, four percent crit against Gatray. You know, it almost feels like I'm attacking up the high ground in Radiant Dawn. I know there's this mechanic doesn't exist yet, but it feels like it does. So I don't think I'm blocking the thief, which means that the other thief should come running towards me. At least I hope. Yeah, I can't let uh, I cannot let Soren take these on. That would be very bad. So I'm just sending him here instead. Oh, killer bow sniper and Marim. Uh. I don't think it's gonna matter if I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, Moram is so tanky, he should be fine. 
Yeah, I'm attacking up Letke. Yeah, that's the uh, full guard, and yeah, the thief is coming this way, as you can see, so... As long as that last chest is there, he'll come for it. Because in this game, thieves steal until they're imminent. I guess we're using Sylph. Yep, guess we're using Sylph, guys. Oh, did the sniper have good buy rhythm? He did. Guess I should have checked. Money problems incoming? Uh, well... We'll see about that. Um... Uh, oh, that's right. Fucking just takes it, though. What the hell? Alright, so I need to kill this guy. Uh, this, this guy kinda needs to die right now, so... Maybe, maybe, maybe... Ooh, I don't wanna block the thief, though, do I? Maybe I do, actually. I don't know, like... I wanna see if blocking actually makes the thief run back, or if it still makes him run towards me. The full guard can be pretty good on Jill. Uh, once she's kind of gotten the stats she needs from the Vyvern ban, you could put it on her. I think that's not terrible. Yeah, this killer bow sniper is a bit of a nasty dude. Kind of sucks because there's a lot of men staves I would have liked to steal from here. Also, I am not going to get the physics staff now because of that, so that is not great. I'm still gonna get the. I'm still gonna. Yeah, I'm still gonna get the bolting, but I'm not gonna get the physics staff, which is a little sad. I'm not gonna lie. Just a little sad. Tiny, teensy weensy bit sad. Yeah, my Oscar. I think his skill score. Yeah, 11 skill at level 20. Can someone please look up his average skill? Because I'm pretty sure it's pretty high. If I remember correctly, Oscar's skill growth is really good. Uh, let's see, Oscar. Yeah, dude has a 50% skill growth. I don't know how this happened, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I, I think there's been a fluke. Okay, so he's three points, be three and a half points below his average. That's kind of funny. Okay, he's running away. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I gotta open up the throne room again. It's very important I don't block the throne room, guys. Uh, this run ain't the one. Volk is not that bad to lose, honestly. Ha! <sighs> well, that is unfortunate. I gotta say, I kind of hope. Okay, I need to ensure. It's very important here. Um, I need to like clear out some enemies here with Jill. I need to kill the sniper. That's what I need to do. Okay, now I actually need to go back here with Brahm and fight these guys so they don't hit me in the back. Didn't Titania have a chest key? Yeah, I can still open the chests. That's fine. Um, I, that's not the problem here. I just gotta absolutely make sure that there's a clear path to the throne room. Yeah, my Oscar is dog shit. I really don't know how this happened, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It's weird. Oh, right. Wind Tome. Yeah, the sniper's gotta die. I don't care how. Oh my god, am I really gonna have to rely on a... No, 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 no. Okay, well, uh, Gatry, kill the priests. And then kill with Mirai'm, I think. That will require Riss to run away, though.
Maybe Oscar can kill them. Oh shit. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Help. 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 I think I will pick him up with Oscar because I'm pretty sure Risk gets one round by Myrmidons. He has 11 speed. Ah. Uh, yeah. 20 damage time. Yeah, he'll die. 100% he will die. So Tormod will not get doubled by this guy, which is good, and he won't get one shot, so I guess I can just... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't grind on this guy. That's sad. That is kind of sad. Oh, well. So there is a clear path to the chest, so I do believe the thief should come back. At least I hope that's the case. Ow. That's 13 damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. No! 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 He kept running! He kept running! No! What? Speed unlock, not bad. Oh, it was just a... Actually, it was a bolting tome. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, that's actually kind of nice. So, I'm kind of sad about that. Yeah, I am. Yeah, the thieves run away. If only someone had informed me of this. Hmm. Alright, do we want the heavy spare or do we want experience? There you go. Alright. <laughs> Almost worth it. <laughs> Almost worth it. I think, maybe. There we go. I mean, it's, you know, it's experience. Alright, well, at least we have some chest keys left. That's good. So, we'll get this at least, which is another... Yeah, Draco Shield, that's a big one. That's an important one, so I'm glad we didn't miss out on that. Well, um... Hmm. Let's kill this mage. There we go. Try grinding on someone else. I'm I'm working on it. Have you guys seen the new uh, Chris Chan streams? They're awful. Chris Chan is back and he's streaming. It's 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 awful. All right, I'm a little bit tired of this uh, song right now. No. Raid is <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> that's that's awful, Pulse it out. That's awful. <laughs> that is awful. Ooh, I can grind uh Alright, oh, with the bolting I don't have. Fuck, I'm sad I didn't get the bolting. I'm sad I didn't get the bolting, guys. I was I was looking forward to that bolting. Uh, da, 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 da. Is this enough for Brom to promote? I hope so. Da, 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 da. How scary is this boss? He does 27 damage. That's definitely too... Huh? Yeah, Torgod. Unless I give him, like, um... Yeah, he's, he's definitely... Not unless I give him... Well, let's see how Torgod does against the two mages, shall we? I need to give him bands, my goodness. Skill, luck, and resistance. Um, if 
fighter ban. You know what? Strength for Torgod, actually not terrible. And HP, actually also not terrible. So, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see if he can get some levels off those mages, shall we? Did, Lili did Liliana die of hunger? No, she died of me not being able to reach her in time. I believe we can train Torgod here, ladies and gentlemen. I believe it can be done. I believe it can be done. We just gotta believe. That's all that matters. Alright, I don't think there's mages in here. No, there's just physical enemies in here. What skill will you give Joe? Um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what is, like, best for her. Um, I think I want to give Adept to Braum. Adept Provoke, probably. Uh, I'm not really sure about Joe. Uh, I, I feel like... Hmm. I really don't know. I really don't know. Hey, Max, interesting fact. Did you know the Spider-Man X Lucina? I'm just gonna stop reading that one right there. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we can do this. I believe in the Torah mod. I believe in the Torah mod. Speed and defense, alright. More speed is never a bad thing. Defense is nice too. I wonder if I can get to a point where Tormod cannot get one shot by the boss. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Wing of Shoe donated two bucks. The Oscar award for bad level ups go to. Yeah, he gets, a, he gets an Oscar for that. I think I'm actually gonna try to promote Oscar on the boss. Oh, let's go. All right, let's compare Gatry and Brom. Gatry, 21 strength. Brom, 20 strength. Gatry, 43 HP. Brom, 38 HP. Gatry, 15 skill. Brom, 18 skill. So Brom's got more skill. Gatry, 11 speed. Brom, 17 speed, though he does have the Night Ward. Gatry, 6 luck. Brom, 8 luck. Gatry, 21 defense. Brom, 20 defense. Gatry, 6 resistance. Brom, eight. I'd say they're pretty comparable, honestly. I feel I feel like they're very comparable to each other. Yeah, they're about even. Nothing out of the ordinary, really. I should send Oscar to help with those enemies, honestly. It's gonna take Brom forever to kill them anyway, and Oscar actually needs the promotion, so. Honestly, uh, maybe I'll just put the Night Ward on. I don't know if Oscar needs speed. He might. He might. I feel like Brahma has reached a point where he might not need speed anymore. I'm not sure, though. Alright, can Tormod inflict damage against the mages? No. <laughs> he cannot. So, it's probably no point. Uh, I think Oscar has the chest key. No, wait. Who has chest keys? Uh, wait. Oh my god, did I... Did I put chest case on Titania? I am such a fucking moron. I think one of these guys dropped... He drops a chest key. Oh my goodness, thank you. Now, as for Oscar's secondary weapon, I, th I know people say bows. I kind of like giving him axes, though, I'm not gonna lie, because hand axes can be very good in the right scenario. He's going to be dealing with a lot of enemies, a lot of lance-wielding enemies sometimes, so I think I'm going to put an axe on Oscar, honestly. I just think it makes the most sense. Silver Lance is nice. Boscar is much better. I disagree. I disagree. It's very nice to have hand axes. It's very nice to have hand axes. Alright, Will Tordred. Tord... He gets double, that's funny. 
Not with the Thunder Tome, though. If he, if he got, like, a Draco Shield and one HP level up, then he would actually be fine against the boss. But, um, alas, it is not meant to be. I do owe access with that kind of skill. Yeah, he'll get some skill from his promotion to Paladin, though. Nope. And that is a risk with defense, as well as camp dress. Would you look at that? That's pretty, that's pretty good. All right, Oscar needs to earn that promotion, and he needs to do it, like, yesterday. Uh, but I think, I don't know, what do I want? Is the Paladin Band, like, the Paladin Band, band gives speed, so I think if we're gonna do this, I think it's probably best to put them, well, here's the thing, though, he's not gonna level up from the, from, he's gonna promote, so. Uh, yeah, let's just do it this way. Pandaxes do like one or two more damage. Yeah, but they're good if, you, if you're if you facing a lot of like javelin wielding units. That's the thing. Forged bows can one run wyverns. This is true. I mean, uh, it's a tough decision either way, I think. Very nice. He needed that. Ooh. Um, hmm. Ah. Uh. Fine, I'll do a poll. You don't have- Oh, that's true! I don't have any other bow users. That's actually a good point. That's actually a good point. I don't have any bow users in my army at the moment. Like, none. So, uh, that is actually a fair, fair, fairly good point. Uh, I don't know why, but I can't- Oh, there we go. Yeah, 57% says bows, so... Yeah, that's- that's fair. That's true, I don't have any bow users in my army. This, this is actually a fairly good point. Alright, now only Seahark really needs uh Oh, wait, where, where's your... Oh, I think I gave his band to... There we go. You take that fighter band. I think we'll let Seahark deal with the boss. Maybe he can get a couple levels out of it. You know, it doesn't hurt. Woo! We're warding him up. Manx, you're my favorite Dane? I'm not Danish, you moron. Okay, why... Why is this guy so scary? I guess he has good buyer rhythm. Oh, and you probably have bad... Ah! Oh! oh, that's why. That's why it doesn't work. That's why it doesn't work, ladies and gentlemen. See, Ark, if you get crit by this, you weren't that good anyway. Hit points, strength, and skill. Let's go. Gotta get this guy up to Swordmaster rank. Sooner rather than later, I think. That works. Oh, I should have gotten Brom closer. They have a support. Forgot to check what kind of skills the- oh, nice, cancel. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. What do they get from there? See, not, not a lot, I think. Five avoid, yeah. Not a lot, but, you know, every little bit helps, as they say. You know, it's- it's- having cancel on him is actually pretty nice. Just avoiding a bunch of hits is pretty, pretty sweet. Alright, uh... Riss is so close to leveling. He's probably, yeah, he's gonna promote him to Serenus Forest, which is nice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Chapter 17.
zero bonus experience. Alright, well, you know what's coming next, don't you? But not for this stream. Well, memes, obviously. <laughs> MVP Braum, I'm so sad I lost Hulk, though. I have to train. I have to fucking train Soth right now if I want to feed. That is sad. Oh, Tanith is a servant, apparently. Any, any supports that are unlocked right now? Nope. Alright, well, we'll do that next time. Let's uh, do some memes. drawing. Oh, that's adorable. We got a drawing of Mia. That's cute. That's cute. You drew the armpit on purpose, didn't you? Yeah, you did. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. So I'm gonna schedule, I just wanna, before we start doing meme review here, I just wanna schedule the, uh, I wanna schedule the Andron Saga draft race, cause, uh, so I want you guys to remember that I'm streaming tomorrow. I'm starting a little earlier than usual. I'm starting two hours early, three hours earlier than my usual stream time because it'll be a very long stream. So um, I just want to schedule it up and get it going, so you guys uh, know that it's coming. Because I don't usually stream on Saturdays, but I had to now for uh, I had to now because uh, it was the only way to get everyone together. So. So I am scheduling the Andron Saga draft race. Andron Saga draft race. Da, 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 da. So at least now you'll know that it's a thing. I'll link to it after we're done looking at some memes, so you guys can like click, like be reminded or or whatnot. All right, let's see. And it's happening tomorrow, Saturday, and it starts at 6 p.m. European time, so. Now you know. All right, let's look at some memes. I'll, I'll link the stream in a little bit. Uh, no, I'm taking a little bit of a break from the CMU. Oh, not just one. I'm not doing. I'm not streaming on Sunday. I'm. I'm will take in one week break from the Awakening CMU. I, I cannot do three streams in a row in a week. I would die. So uh, sorry. This this Andro Saga th thing kind of replaced that. But we'll we'll be back next Sunday with Awakening, guys. I've got five sons and three daughters. Mang's struggling to add up five sons and three daughters. Oh, yeah, here's the thumbnail, by the way. So that's uh, PH, Don Lot, Norian Guy, and me. We're gonna be draft racing. Definitely tune in. It's gonna be very interesting, I think. Probably not fake message. Definitely fake message. Yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, wait, Lick Me Uvu? I don't even wanna click that link. What the fuck? That's really weird. I Don't click that link. I don't know where it leads. Thief leaving chapter 18 to 16 and be like, ah, oh, it's so sad. I'm getting ads on YouTube advertising ad block. That's hilarious. Okay. Do you want me to review your map? Is that it? Um at first glance, it looks fun. I mean 
Uh, it's a two-base map, yeah. Two-base map with some... Uh, a little slow, maybe. There's there's a lot of choke points here that I don't like. I do like the shoals, though. Um, it's a very slow map, but that may not necessarily be a bad thing. It looks like a fog map, for sure, due to the positioning of the forests. Or maybe actually not. Maybe it's... I don't actually... If this is a fog map, it's going to be horrendously slow because of the for forest placements. I think this is a standard map. Um, you need to schedule once you're done streaming. I do? Why? Oh, okay. Should I should I delete it then? Alright, let me... Um, but I was going to link to it. Is it that big a deal, Cyan? I don't think it is. Do you know? Like, there's no problem with scheduling another stream while I'm still streaming. I don't really think that's a problem at all. So. Alright, let me just do the, uh... <laughs> Give her the look. Forge an axe and call it harder, Daddy. I think I will not do that. Oh, that's adorable. That's adorable. All the way running away from my hair on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Super quick Q&A. I'm going to plug my stream a couple times. Make sure you don't miss it. Here's the link. I, I think. I think this is the link. Yeah, this is the link. So make sure you don't miss it. It's tomorrow. So, like, click the little be notified. It will also ping people in the Discord, I think. So, if you're not in the Discord, I'll, uh, I'll throw a plug to that as well, I think. So, definitely join the Undaran Saga Discord. I'm not in it, but, um... Definitely, definitely make sure you don't miss it. So, here's the Undaran Saga Discord server. Oh, no, wait, that's the, that's the download station. Sorry. Well, you, you should probably be in that as well, but here's the, uh... Here's the Almodel Saga Discord server. Thank you, guys. All right, let me read some questions before I go to bed. Uh, Untendo asks, Hi, Mangs, Miss Stream. How did these units die today? Uh, Devdon I killed for experience. Volk got crit by a killer watcher. Makalov I killed for $100. And that's pretty much about it. Yeah, mo two of the units I killed intentionally. Volk was the only, like, casualty. Uh, yeah, this, this, the killer bow sniper claims yet another victim. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll explain draft race in the in the pinned comment section. Don't worry, guys. Ephraim asks thoughts on pineapple and pizza. Well, you know, it's it's up there with other mental illnesses. Oh, sorry, creative name. No, I thought you were Ephraim. Sorry, creative name. It's up there with other men kind of forms of mental illnesses, but I don't think there's a cure for it. Sophia's still a good unit. Would you love Bethany if she was Meg? No, because she wouldn't be Bethany, <laughs> you moron. You know, Bethany asked me this sometimes. Would you love me if I got turned into a rat? I was like, no, I wouldn't, because you'd be a rat, idiot. Um, ben Gady asked, Max, can you change to CMU stream to Saturday, please? No. Uh, Abyssal Dragon asked, Max, what units are in the free space? Um, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Uh, Baudimon, Jaka, um, Samuel, Angulus. I'll, I'll, we'll post it in the Discord. Arthur Gamon, 2MB. Manx, make sure to add a poll to vote who think will win. Sure, yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. That is a great idea. That is a cool idea. El Spurias, do you have a least favorite on the Soccer chapter? Uh like least favorite to play? Good question. Um hmm. Maybe chapter 16? No, I like that. That's a fun chapter. 
Uh, maybe like the sticks, maybe like 23, maybe, I don't know. I have a bit of a different relationship to this maps because I worked on them, so it's difficult for me to answer that. The tactical statistician asks, Manx, if you fail this Iron Man, no, I will not do rep. Uh, Nintendo asks, should affinities return to Fire Emblem supports? I think so. I liked it. I think affinities are cool. I'd like to see them back. Alice asks, what inspired you to put two refreshers in Andron Saga? I wanted the game to be more Iron Man friendly, so I wanted a replacement dancer. And originally, Sari was only going to show up if Angulus was dead. But I changed my mind and input the ability to send Angulus away in case you wanted to get Sari anyway. So that's why you get the choice to send him away. And then when he comes back, obviously he won't dance anymore because he's he wants to be the only dancer, which fits his personality. So I, I wanted to have two dancers and the ability to choose between them while also having both of them in your army. And that was the compromise I came up with. So, but originally, um, she was supposed to just be a replacement dancer. She was only supposed to show up if Angulus was dead. And then I was like, yeah, that's a little harsh. Some people might really want to dance her. So I, I included the opportunity to get her. And that's how that little thing came about. Because, you know, when I, when you play an Iron Man, it's such a big loss to lose your dancer. Like, your dancer is such a, an essential unit. And your dancer is very easy to lose in an Iron Man. And it really just... It, it kind of snowballs how difficult the run becomes. So putting in a replacement dancer, I think, is just a very nice way to make the game more Iron Man friendly. That's also why, we, why Harriet is in the game. Harriet is just a replacement healer. She's not good on her own. She just will staves. She's just there to supplement your army if you've lost several healers in an Iron Man. That's literally her only purpose. Uh, no armory. There's not going to be a stream on Sunday. I, I don't think so at any rate. Like, I, don't, I really don't think so. Sneaky Raider asks, who are you picking tomorrow? Well, I'm, I'm gunning to get Theo, if possible, and then maybe, like, Helga. I think Helga would be a very good unit. Keep in mind, Helga is... Helga is gonna be available, um... Like, in the chapter she's forced deployed in, so... Just keep that in mind. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it for me. Uh, let me check donations. Nope. All right. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember the stream. I'll see ya. Good night. Love you guys. Have a good one.